Hello, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Quarter. I'm Natasha McCarthy. You've got me for the next four hours. I'm also joined by the very talented Victoria Peach. She's here with us this morning. Um, we've got some door decor and things that she's going to be showing us, along with wash bags to hang up, uh, door stoppers. And we're also going to be showing you how to measure up your own chairs so that you can do your own seat covers. So this is how today is panning out. 8 a.m. It's all about those perfect pre-cuts. Oh, yes. I've got Tula Pink. I've got William Morris. I've got Denise Schmidt. I've got the lot. Um, as well as brand new art gallery fabrics in there as well. Then 9 a.m. I've got brand new fabrics. I've got the Seaside Collection with Victoria Pete. Um, so we're going to be getting you all summer ready. Well, we can be ready, can't we? Might not arrive, but we can be ready. Yeah, well, no, we're not making an umbrella floor manager, Chris, although that might be more appropriate. Uh, <laughs> 10, 10 a.m. We've got tools and fabric. I think that's quite self-explanatory. Tools and fabric, yeah. Uh, and then 11 a.m. Home furnishings. I've been waiting for a show like this for a very long time. We're going to show you how to measure your chairs. We're going to show you how to do your door stoppers. In fact, door furniture, door furnishings, which is really rather wonderful, including a door muffler. We tried it on. We realized it was just, it was a very small eye mask or actually a door muffler. Uh, now, this is the bag, one of them that you can hang it up, which is very cool. Dee, 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 dee. Uh, they're really strong, aren't they? <laughs> These magnetic clips, I always forget just how strong they are. But look, you see, you can hang it up, put all your bits and bobs in when you go on your holly bobs. Uh, and we've got the Lamy Fix back in stock. That sold out incredibly fast last time, so we've got that back. Um, and we've also got, look, this is, that's our door stopper. And over here, is the chair, am I allowed to just, ta -da. We're gonna show you how to cover your own chairs in your own fabrics. Nice, can't wait. Right, let's pop that one down. Okay, so if you would like to get in touch, if you have any questions, if you have anything that you'd like to share with us, or just you wanna say hi, then head to the website, which is sewingquarter.com. From there, you click watch. And that's where you can watch us live. Then just down to the right is message the studio. And that will come straight through to the studio. Now, if you've got a lot to say, and some of you do have a lot to say, then you need to email, which is studio at sewingquarter.com. All of the products from today's shows will also be underneath. And what are you writing there? Did you, did, did you, just, did you just sit on the keyboard? You suppose had a week off. <laughs> He's forgotten how to type. Uh, now, underneath are all the products from today's shows. And then if you'd like to email us with longer emails, if you've got more to say, because there's a, there's a case limit otherwise, and, uh, and sometimes it cuts you off mid-flow. So if you've got lots to say, that's sewing quarter at uh, studio at sewingquarter.com. I've now lost my words. Producer Paul's lost the ability to type. I've lost my words. We're doing well this morning. Hurrah. Now, William Morris. Oh, yes, please. Now, we've managed to bring to air for you two William Morris collections, and they have been incredibly popular. Um, now, we've got Merton and we've got Kelmscut. This is the Merton one, isn't it? The ones I've just put to the side. Now, I've, is this the one I've only got two of? Now, this is a 21-piece fat quarter bundle. It is an absolute stunner, but I only have two of these, okay? So if you do want it and you want, look, you've got the full collection here. It is absolutely stunning. Producer Paul and I stayed on air an extra hour to bring you this collection. So can I open this one or is this one of the two? Yes or no? Yes? Sure, sure? That's not a very sure, sure. I can't actually, that, that's not, it's really knotted. Right, let's not then, let's not open that. That's turning out to be tricky. Uh, <laughs> let's not open that. Let's just peel it back. So I've only got two. Uh, you are already adding it to your basket. So by the time I've undone it, it'll probably be sold. But if you do love your William Morris and you did love the brand new collection and you want a little bit of everything, then for 82 99 it's yours. Pop it in your basket. Ah. <sighs> Look at those colors, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. You've got tans, you've got teals, you've got, oh, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. Actually, I think they call it um, aqua in this, through to the reds. Right, one's in the basket already. Look at that. So half the stock of that gone. 
but this is the twirl of the twirl. And you've, now, this, is this the one with the, what was it called? It was dragon head or something. No, snake head. This had the snake head fabric. Let me find you the snake head fabric. Where was that? It was that one, wasn't it? Oh, it's, it's just absolutely stunning. Pop that in your basket. Check it out. Um, if it doesn't go in the next couple of minutes, I'll come back to it later um, and see if I can undo that knot. Right. Now, one that has already been opened for me, which is lovely, uh, is the other William Morris collection. Now, this was the very first William Morris quilting weight fabric uh, that we bought for you. This is your Calmscot, all named after the places that really inspired William Morris. Here we go. Now, you're getting in this one 12... 12 fat quarter pieces. Now, again, we don't have huge amounts because, look, you've even got your strawberry thief in there, which I know is one that everybody loves. And again, you can mix and match these colours through. If you've got the other one, then you absolutely can. You've got some... Now, you see, these are always underrated, and yet these help lift everything else. So as you start to work through... The colours are glorious. So you've got your greens in there, you've got your blues. Oh yeah. Look at that. So this is your, um, what was this? This was something like the butler's button or something. No, this was the, this was the bachelor's button. Butler's button, it, it's named after a plant, isn't it? But look. There you go. This is the sort of thing you can come to uh, enjoy and expect from your William Morris Fat Quarters. We've only got six of these available, so please do check out. $49.99. This is already going in your baskets. V-A-R-W-10 is your code there. Fabulous. They're lovely, aren't they? Show another one. Do you want to see the, um, the one that everybody sort of recognises? as being William Morris, I think has got to be the strawberry thief, hasn't it? Uh, this is the one that we all get. Oh, yeah, that's William. Ah, oh, it's William Morris. There, look at that. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Now, I know some of you got these by the half meter. Sometimes that's a little bit too daunting for some people, or, the, you know, they just, they just want a snippet of, of, of as much of it as they can. And then, so if you see that, and then, I go, look, even if I just take some of these out from underneath, under here, if you start to work this through so that you get a nice idea of how these, oh, look at that with it. Isn't that beautiful? All of these just you can see how the colours really pick out. Um, and over here, of course, you can pick out your blues and your greens. It's all going to come together an absolute treat when you get this collection. I think it's gorgeous. $49.99. It's a stunner. It's, it's one of those ones that just doesn't date. Because, you know, it's William Morris. You know, it, it just, it, he's one of those classics, absolute classics. Now, um, how do you fancy some brand new fabrics? Oh, yes, please. Now, um, at the weekend, uh, we launched brand new art gallery fabric. They look like gift boxes, uh, which is beautiful. And they are 10 packs, uh, 10 fat quarter packs, beautifully, beautifully um, boxed, ready for you. Um, they were laughing at me this morning in our morning meeting, saying, ah, maybe we should pre-open them for you, Natasha, because you really struggled to open them. I was like, please be my guest. And happily, they all struggled too, um, because you don't want to rip the boxes because they look so pretty. Um, so, <laughs> brand new from Art Gallery Fabrics. And here they are. Don't they look fab? Really beautiful. Now, this is brand new today. Okay, so this is how you get it. Now, Art Gallery Fabrics um, insist on quality in every yard. And um, I, what I was really thrilled to see was that on our fan page, so many of you who have had Art Gallery Fabrics before were agreeing with me, like, yes, absolutely. You, it's one of those fabrics that sometimes you just need to feel to appreciate 
Um, the reason for this being is that they use a different kind. Oh, look at the bunnies. Sorry, distracted. Um, they, um, they use a different type of cotton. It's actually a different strain of cotton plant. It's, um, so if you've ever heard of Pima cotton, P-I-M-A, that is the type of cotton that this is. So the closest to it really is Egyptian cotton, but it is a different cotton plant to your normal cotton. Uh, the difference is, if we're going to be technical about it, is the strands. So the strands um, of the cotton are much longer, which means that you can weave it more tightly, but it's super fine. Because the weave is tighter, it's softer fabric, a tighter weave, which means that you can get very intricate prints on. Look at the detail of these prints. Um, and the beauty of it is some manufacturers, if you, um, if you buy Pima cotton in shirts and things like that, a lot of them will actually sort of offer you a lifetime guarantee on it. Certainly they would say that the cotton will have a lifespan of up to 50% longer because of, because of how the, the cotton is woven. So that's why when you get your Pima cotton, you feel the difference. And that is what Art Gallery Fabrics say, feel the difference in every yard, every meter. You can feel that difference, and you really can. So you get 10 in here, and actually, I think that 39.99 for Pima cotton is a great price. So here they all are, and I think they're absolutely stunning. Now, these collections, do um, intermingle, by the way, so you can mix and match the colours. I'll show you a little bit more of that in just a, in just a moment. Uh, let's have a look at the bunnies. Ah, oh, you don't often get bunnies. Now this is brand new today. There's your bunnies. That's just half of it opened up, so I can fold it again quickly. Look at the bunnies. Beautiful. I love this fresh colourway. Oh, the 21 fat quarters, William Morris has gone. Well done. Well done, well done. Half the stock of the other one is gone. The calmscot has gone. Let me get rid of that. Kim, hello, Kim. She says, good morning, Tash. Just wanted to say, looking forward to today's shows. Yeah, me too. Um, oh, and your hair looks lovely today too. Well, thank you very much. Um, I always go curly when it needs doing. Uh, so uh, you can't see the roots quite as much. But there we go. That's, <laughs> that's just my little tip. Uh, right. You get all 10 in here which is ever so beautiful, really gorgeously, even when I actually, you know, open them up and then put them back in again, they still look great. She says, I'd better do it properly now, hadn't I? Um, so it is a really beautiful collection. If you are gifting, then what a beautiful gift. It's a, wow, it is, it's, yeah, absolutely, what a gift. If you are a husband, Good morning, or a partner that's being forced to watch Sewing Quarter again. Um, morning, lovely to have your company. And uh, and the other thing to say is that actually, if you if you you know if your other half has got a birthday or you just fancy treating them, they will love this. And it's easy for you to wrap. Happy days. So that one is brand new today. I've got a couple more brand new. Actually, I've got three more brand new ones. You know, I was saying that the colours work. Look at the colours there. Can you see how you just you just go for the darker shade with this one? So I've just shown you that. Let's do this one next. Uh, yeah, producer Paul likes this. Um, I always know when producer Paul likes a fabric because he'll go, "That's um, that's a hanky square." He likes his shirts. Were you looking dapper for your birthday, producer Paul? We did wish you a happy birthday. Obviously, you'd have been watching, so you'd know that. You were wearing a suit, yeah, because you went to the races, didn't you? Did you have a little flutter? Not a ch flutter. She's just putting down f uh, um, feathers. Are you not a betting man? Are you not? Oh, very wise. Very wise. Look at these. These are a bit special, aren't they? Oh, these are my colours. Love this. These two that I've just put out, how beautiful are they? There you go. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Storage, lovely, because you just put it back in the box. I'm going to open up this one. Now, um, lo oh, look at that. Oh, 
That's beautiful. And again, uh, this is your Pima cotton, all of these Pima cotton, just beautiful. Just beautiful. $39.99, not just for that one, you get nine more. I just think that's stunning, look at that. And then you see you mix it through some of these other colors. It's just so beautifully put together. What else do you want? Oh, the fireworky one. I don't know if it is fireworks, but we'll call it that. Yeah. Beautiful. So you've got such a lovely variety. And if we have a look at it from, um, from afar, what, you, what you'll see is that you've got, your different, you've got your different colors coming through. So you do have different depths. You've got your plain in there as well to help emphasize and make other ones go. So you've got, uh, you've got lighter shades, lights. You've got your mid-tones. You've got your darker shades. You've got your patterns. You've got uh, medium-sized patterns. You've got um, large patterns here. So, you know, Art Gallery Fabrics, not only do they provide beautiful fabrics for dressmaking, but also for quilting. And your designers within these boxes, there's going to be a few names you know here, that's for sure. Uh, we've got Pat Bravo, which um, in itself is a fabulous name. Uh, <laughs> Barry J, Bonnie Christine, Katrina Riccelli, um, April Rhodes, Sharon Holland. We've got Maureen Cracknell in here. Not like the person, just the designer. Uh, Caroline Hulse, Dana Willard, Amy Cinebaldi, Jessica Swift, Leah Duncan. We've got Francis Newcomb, Sarah Lawson, uh, Jenny Baker, Sarah Watson, Katie Jones, and of course, Art Gallery Fabric Studios in there as well. So you've got the back, you know, it's all, it's beautifully packaged. There are all your designer names. You've got all your washing instructions for your Pima cotton as well. Um, and then it's even just the fact that on the box you've got a little, a little foam measuring tape on there. Everything has been thought out, which is why this makes it so beautiful. So these are brand new today. If you met, the grey was the most popular at the weekend. I can't remember if I did this on Saturday or Sunday. I think it was Saturday. Um, the weekend merged into one wonderful riot of color and fabric. Um, and so if you did manage to get it, the gray one was the most popular, but the gray is great because it means that it'll go with all of these. And actually the gray has got a lot of these pinks in it as well. Well, no, I want to do brand new ones first and then we'll have a play with color. She says producing from the floor, which is really annoying for him. But yeah, that might be nice. Go on then, he says, go on. I'm just popping these back in here because they do look beautiful. Uh, uh, now, you see, on Saturday, I was really careful. Oh, look at the feathers. Oh, that's a bit special. I love that one. Cameraman Mike said, would I please put these back in the correct order? Am I doing a good job? Yeah. Violet, violent. No, violent, what? Eh? Oh, <laughs> nothing violent about it with the violet. Um, vibrant, violet. This one, I'm assuming. What does it tell me my colours? Yes, vibrant violet. Ooh, purple is your colourways. Let's shimmy that down. It's got a bit shooshed up. Look at these. Yeah. But again, you know, you look at them in the box and you can really see you've got your lights. If you squint a bit, it's the, the old squint test, isn't it? Squint a bit and you can see um, lights, mid-tones and, and brights in there. So you've got all sorts. Let's get these out and have a good old look through these as well. So you've got some lovely geometric prints in here as well. Nice. Oh, look at that one. That's super pretty. Love that. This would be nice as your, um, as your pocket hanky square thing. That'd be very smart. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're really gorgeous. And of course, you are getting that stunning quality. That one, that one. Oh, your bottom left, on the screen bottom left. There we go. That one. Well, well, but look at that one as well, Producer Paul. It's always, it's funny, isn't it? Everybody, with, um, with Producer Hannah, we have to discuss whether or not it's going to uh, sit right in her home with her, her, her neutral grey walls. With producer Paul, it's always the pocket hanky test. We've got, you know, got to, we've got to suit everyone. Did you want to open this one up and have a look at the birds? 
the birds, the birds. But oh, just look, I mean, mm, ah, lovely. What a great job I have. I just like to sit here and play with fabric all day. It's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, do check out your baskets for these, by the way, because they're brand new today. Um, I don't know how easy art gallery fabric is to get in this country. Certainly when we looked on the internet, some people were charging 17 99 postage. Like, what? <laughs> Look at that. Isn't it stunning? Now, our postage is capped at 2 95 per day. Lots of you yesterday buying overlockers, and again, even if you bought an overlocker yesterday, you'll still only be paying 2 95 PMP. I think that is beautiful. That's a promise of spring, isn't it? That's everything just about to burst. That's kind of where we're at today, I think, weather-wise. Weather-wise, well, you know, apart from, obviously, the hideous rain. Has anybody else got rain, or was it just us? Anyone? Has everybody else got rain? It's going to be nice and sunny, though, isn't it, the weekend? Uh, 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 Lucy says, good morning, Tash. Please may you say hello to my girlies, Lily, Evie, Elsie, and Hattie. That's a lot of girls. Hang on. Lily, Evie, Elsie, and Hattie. Four girls, lucky you. As they watch on TV every morning before school. Thank you, says Lou. Yes, good morning, girls. How are you? Do you sew as well? Do you? Do you? Oh, morning, Ali. You're up early. Uh, good morning, Natasha. Here watching you on a very wet morning near Leek. Um, I feel that living near Leek is appropriate for this kind of weather. Uh, loving the hair. Love, Ali. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, check out these baskets. Don't miss out on these. They're not going back in the right order. Am I going to get told off? Does anybody know? Let me spin that around, actually, then you can have a good look at it. I think these are absolutely beautiful. And I, I'm so, do you know what? I'm so pleased because I know that I, I can feel the quality of the fabric, and you can't. It, it's, um, it's like when you have cookery shows and you can't smell how wonderful the food smells and tastes. Um, but this is... If you, this is where a, a pack like this is so wonderful because you really can get a, an idea of the quality of the fabric. But I was so pleased to see so many of you have experienced the quality of art gallery fabrics before. Beautiful. Now, one more brand new. <gasps> Love these colors. Look at this. Now, this is going to go beautifully with that one. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I know. I, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Are they roses at the front or are they peony? I don't know. I really need to start gardening, don't I, and get an idea. Oh, hang on, hang on. Can you hear me, actually? Because apparently my microphone's being a bit tricky. Can we have a little rummage? Oh, no, we're all good. We're all good. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, look at this one. Is this, the, this is the one that grabbed your eye, wasn't it, Producer Paul? Look at that. Now, you get that and nine more. You get 10 in this pack. That's a bit stunning. I love that. Look at that. Oh, Producer Paul reckons this is the best one. That's because you love that one, don't you? That one and that one. Producer Paul was like, yes, yes, yes. Which one further down? Well, that one. That one as well. Open the birds, open the birds. It's not just birds. It's like city meets country with this. Hang on. What does it say? Designed by Francis Newcomb. Well done. Here we go. Look at this. Ooh. Lots of you new this morning. Well done coming in for this. I don't blame you. Can we have a good rummage around this one? There's a deer. Hang on, you've got like a city there and then a deer. What's going on? This is fabulous. Oh, I do like this. It is completely different, isn't it? I've never seen a fabric like it. Look at the bird there. But actually from some angles it looks like a butterfly. More cities over here. I don't know. It's... It, some birds going on over here. 
They've got some interesting weather going on upside down here. You've got a rainbow, you've got a... Well, it's like today, isn't it, really? Uh, is that a river or just a big puddle? I don't know. I feel like I'm influenced by today's weather here. And yet, a random stag. A brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Beautiful. How much fun is this going to be just taking little snippets? You know, we did... Oh, you know what I would do with this? You know, the other day we did the cathedral window. Uh, yes, Director Tim, you know how you did the cathedral window the other day? You haven't finished it yet. Okay, well, we'll give you a little bit more time for that homework. Um, could you imagine if you just had little snippets, how interesting those little reveals would be out in, you know, if you had that as sort of the view from your cathedral window, it'd be amazing. Well, well hang on, oh, hang on, they do like this one upstairs. Oh, hang on, no, no, Tash, don't put it away yet. I want to see more. Ooh. Now, you know I said that the colours work. Hey, look at this. That's what you do your cathedral window out of, is it? Now, I'm just going to offer that in as look how beautifully that would go. Just saying. Or isn't it gorgeous? It's quite abstracty, isn't it? It sort of looks, when you first glance at it, like it's a paint splatter, but actually, no, it has been... If I turn it around, you might... I don't know which way... Oh, there's my selvage there. That's the right way up. I've been looking at it upside down. Uh, look, you can see sort of tufts of flowers. It's like a wild garden, isn't it? They're saying Jackson Pollock upstairs-esque. It's not actually. But you, can get, you get that feel, don't you? Look at this. Oh, both Will and Morris's have gone. Well done. Good morning. You're doing well this morning. So you do need to check out. Producer Paul says actually you need to check out your basket on this one as well. So far this morning, this has been the most popular. Certainly, this has had the biggest reaction this morning um, from upstairs. Oh, Tim's going to order his off air. But yeah, Tim, it might have gone by then. Might have gone by then. Look at that. But you see, then you get this fun little one. Very cheeky. You, oh, hang on, let's have a look at this. Uh, how close can we get in with this one? We had this in one of the other colorways, which was incredibly beautiful. But you do need, it's very, very delicate. Can you see? It's just, it's like the most incredible delicate outlines. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Um, I, I, it's a real privilege, actually, to have beautiful fabrics like this. Really gorgeous. Now, one that will, of course, go with all of these is, of course, the grey, which we'll just take a look at. Now, that is quite limited now because so many of you went for it at the weekend. I think anyone will notice if that just disappeared. I think they might. It's rather stunning, though, isn't it? Ooh, yes. Uh, which has been your favourite so far? Producer Paul, do we have a favourite? Is it this one? Oh, the most popular has been the second one. Not this one. I thought it'd be this one. Oh, you do need to check out. Okay, so in terms of those of you who have been in, bought and sitting relaxing, possibly with a cup of tea. Grey next. Yes, Producer Paul. Yes, 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 yes. I think I'm getting quicker at folding. I, I think I am. Oh, you don't think I am. Oh, I thought I was. It's neater. Okay, okay. So better, possibly not quicker. There we go. That is your pink. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Now, can I show you this with the grey? Now, this launched Saturday, yes. And it does have little little notes of pink through. If you wanted pink and grey, always works a treat. So let's have a look at that grey. Now, oh, you've got the butterflies in here, haven't we? In fact, I'm going to open the butterflies out. We can put all of them on top of the butterfly. What, what, what? Oh, three of you have just popped in your basket. Well done. Oh, this has got the delicate pink in here. And the rabbit. Look at the rabbit. 
What else can we see? We've got a rabbit. We've got a butterfly. What? Uh, what's that? Oh, hang on, I'm looking at it upside down. Is that? Oh, that's Bambi. Ah, oh, love this. You've got. Oh, there's the bird down up, upside down down there. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, you really have to check out with this one. Please check out. Is it worth me get? Oh, look at the zip. Hey, look at that one. Love that one. We're going to do zips later. Do you like the typography? Yeah, producer Paul always likes a spot of typography. Uh, this one is incredibly useful and it's got so many blenders through it. I'm going to open that one up a little bit there. It's a very, very useful one to have in your stash. Oh, this one's also got the guitars in. It's, uh, yeah, there's guitars, saxophones. You've got a band in there. Uh, Jane in Dorset. Lots of you in Dorset this morning. Lucy was from Dorset as well, wasn't she? She said, hi, Natasha. Colour Master, what a great collection. Just right if you're making a, um, a Covergence quilt. What's that? Jane, what's that? Everyone's nodding, going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does anybody actually know what that is? <laughs> They're like, don't know, but it sounds beautiful. Um, Jane, can you let me know what that is? Because I'm up for learning this morning. I'd love to know. Um, but yes, whatever that is, I'm going to bow down to your superior knowledge there, Jane, and say yes. Yes. Do you want to have a look at... Oh, actually, do you know which one I'd like to have a look at in more detail? Oh, half the stock's gone. Okay, we might have to be quick. Can we have a look at the birdcage one? Because you've got birdcage and typography here. Ooh, look at that. Shall I hold that one up? Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. That feels a bit Tim Holtzy, doesn't it? With the typography in the back and the sort of distressed look. So who left the door open? Who's let the birds out? Right, uh, you do need to check out on this. That, that warning keeps coming through my ear. Please check out on this if you want it. Please check out on this. Oh, new buyers, if you've never bought before and you're buying one of these, the way it works, if it's in your basket, um, to guarantee your order, you have to check out. It just because if someone rings up, because there are two ways to order. You can order online or you can order uh, by ringing our free phone number, 0800 112 Now, if somebody rings up and there's limited amounts and you've got it in your basket but you haven't checked out, it's not yours yet, okay? You only pay one PMP per day, but if it's sat in your basket and you're umming and ahhing and someone rings up with the money in their hand ready to go, it could well get plucked out of your basket. So please be really careful. Um, and if you really want this, you do need to check out because I only have three. Three? Is that all? I've only got three left. Oh, do you know what? If nothing else, get it for this one. It's Bambi. Bambi and butterflies. Doesn't get much better than that on a soggy Wednesday, does it? Um, right, one last one to do. Has Jane messaged back as to what a covergence quilt is? She will, she will, she will do. I hope so. Oh, the blue. Now, if I just open that up very quickly. Yeah, no, but look, because if you were to go for the lilac, uh, the violet rather, how beautiful is that? Because that you've got... Mm, <laughs> and I reckon that could also go with the pink one as well. Yeah, pink and blue. That looks really pretty, doesn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, we've got houses on this one. Yep, yep, yep. They're really interesting fabrics, aren't they? Really interesting. I'm, I'm super impressed with these. I think it's a really beautiful collection. But then you see you've got lots of different designers, which is the beauty of it. You know, sometimes I look at my stash and I look at all the different designers. And I'm like, right, which, which will work? The Tash Dash, yes. And I'm like, which will work? Which will work together? But here it's done for you. Yeah, ooh. That needs to go down there, doesn't it? That's ever so pretty. It is a pocket square dream for you. Look at this one. That's like the eye of peacock tails, isn't it? In that one. Is that just me? Just me, good. <laughs> now it's snowing, that's very appropriate. I expect we'll probably have some of that. 
Yes, they're scraping ice off my car. I was like, oh, happy 1st of May, everyone. What's going on? So I like this one because you've got, again, you've got lots of blenders. You've got, it sounds weird with blue, but to say neutrals going on. You know, you've got, you've got ones like that. That's almost Sashko-ish, isn't it? And yet you've got this, very stylized. Maybe you want that in the middle of your cathedral window. I, I don't know why I'm worried about cathedral windows today. I, I, I think I'm thinking about doing one. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not nagging you to finish, Director Tim. Do you want to have a look at the houses? Let's go all around the houses. You are not going to cheat and get Lucy to do it for you. We oh, don't tell anyone. Well, no, no, because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not condoning cheating, Director Tim. Here we go. I like this. Look at that. That's superb. Hey, look, it's snowing. <laughs> Do you want the snow to settle in the front garden? <laughs> no, we don't want snow. What am I saying? Don't. Okay, they, here they all are together. There we go. Looking good. Um, Tula next. Now, we launched Tula's um, fabric with her in February. And we've brought it to you in various pre-cuts and half meters and everything else. Now, what we've got for you are two different colorways. And this was very, very popular when we brought this to air for the first time the other day, um, of fat quarters in the polka dot and, um, and the tent stripe. It's got such a lovely feel to it, this collection. I was admiring on our fan page the other day, uh, someone had bought the, um, the charm pack and done and started doing their very first quilt for a friend's baby, and it was just looking gorgeous. But that's that's the joy of all these things, you know. If you're if you're buying a collection, you know that you can mix and match them through, just beautifully, and it's going to work. There's no point in putting in all the effort if it's you know going to look rubbish at the end of it. You know, if you start with great ingredients and the colours all work and the collection works together, like with these, happy days, happy days. Right there we go. That's that sort of put in. I am going to do, I can't remember which one's which, because one's called stars and one's called spots or something. I'm going to go for the, this one. So what you have in here <coughs> is you've got um, your spots, your pom-poms, your tent stripes, and then you get a couple of planes just to see you through to the next colorway. This is one of these collections that when I get it, I will probably be really careful not to upset the order of it. And I would probably use in this order, just because I think the hard work's been done for you. Is that a cheat? I don't know. But look at the vibrancy of the colors. All wonderful, wonderful quality. This is all 100% cotton. There you go. Yeah, wow. Isn't it? Isn't it? So you get 23 in here. It's 82.99. I think it's utterly stunning. And yes, thank, I can't remember who it was that after the last show when I had these, I was like, these look like party ring biscuits when they're set out like that. And she, uh, she sent me photos of the party ring biscuits they had at, at, at one of her events. I was like, I feel so hungry now. Party ring biscuits. So that's one option. I'm going to leave that like that and just shimmy it down there. Aren't they gorgeous? And then get the other colorways for you. So then you can, you can compare and contrast. So this one. Do you prefer this one, producer Paul? Do you? Controversial. Yeah, look how these work. You see, I'm, I'm all for the bright colors. Here we go. Like this, 23 of these. 23 fat quarters, tulip pink. She's, um, she's got an eye for color, hasn't she, that lady? My word, proper eye for color there. 
and uh, and you know we get to uh, we get to really get that benefit. Do you prefer this one? Ah, uh, you see, Director Tim thinks he might prefer that one. That must surely go there, like that. Look at these. So you've got your purples, greens, blues, and pinks in here, which is rather gorgeous. We're getting there, nearly there, but you do get a lot in here, don't you? Here we are. So if you would like this one today, then this is your option, 82.99 CMRW82, but it means that you get all of this gorgeous tulip pink. Now, if you already have a stash of tulip pink, then of course the colors are gonna go. You can almost use these like blenders. Use them by themselves to get that beautiful hit of color or mix and match and merge them through, work them through. If you manage to get, I know in the sale, we had a lot of her fabrics that were these kind of colors. You know the, you know the one that looked like a marble top and it had uh, rabbits and things hidden in it? That's those colors. But just look at this hit of color, look at this. So this is, this is the one that is on your screen there. And this one is down the bottom of your screen down there. Whichever, it's basically pick which color way you like. I love it. Can we just look at those for a moment longer? But they're so pretty. Oh, now red and, oh, hang on a minute. Right, let's have a good old look through here. I don't want to upset this, so I'm just gonna wee move those over there. Oh, that's quite satisfying, I like that. Uh, now, red and cream, I've got two different reds and creams. Um, I've got dark red and then I've got a lighter red. So um, these were some of our, you know when we, um, we had these on the other day, these were some of our best selling ones. So, so you can see the difference in colorways. This is your lighter one, obviously. And then this is your darker one. So darker, here we go, we're getting it. Darker, lighter, there we go. And uh, these have proved to be incredibly popular. Loads of you just loving the classic mix of your fat quarters. So I don't know if it will fall off. It might all fall off if I tip it up, who knows? But you've got all of your fat quarters in there um, and, and lots of different makes, and but all lovely quality. I love that one. We had to get that. It is a little bit Willie Morris. It's, it's quite traditional. Um, and But then you go through too, because we had some cave on the show last time we had these as well, um, where you had these really intricate uh, snails. And it's like, well, that's kind of, kind of like a more simple version of it, more quietened down. So you've got beautiful. Now, this is very limited. So $39.99 for this. Ooh. Even the salvage is really pretty on this, I have to say. Isn't that lovely? Um, you know you're not really meant to use salvages in projects. I would with this because it's really pretty. Stunning, isn't it? Ever so lovely. But you see, look, there's your salvage. And I just think that's... That's going to be used, isn't it? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Ever so lovely. Beautiful. Um, so you're getting 10 different fat quarters in here. The one with snails on. Yes, I can. I absolutely can. Let me just fold that back up. D -d 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 -d. Oh, there. To there. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You know you can get those jumper folders. I feel like I need one of those. Uh, right. Okay. Here you go. Look at that one. So again, you've just got something a little bit different here, but it really useful neutrals. It is like Kafe without the colour. Yeah. It's like Kafe before he gets his hands on the colour. So that's thirty nine ninety nine. But you're getting 10 in there, so a lot of fabric in there. Yeah. Uh, now, that's one version. But I've got two for you to pick from. I love that these come on little uh, 
whing, they're so easy to move around. No, look, you get, you get again in this one, you get that one again. It's a good job we showed you that one, isn't it? Because you get it twice. But with this one, you get the deeper reds. So maybe a more traditional look. Should we have got time to have a quick look at one? Yeah, let's have a look at this one, because this one looks ever so pretty. Again, maybe you want to get both and mix and match them through. There we are. Ever so pretty there. So this is, oh, this one's more popular today. So the darker red more popular today. That's fair enough. $39.99 for your dark red and cream fat quarters. Ever so lovely. And you've got some really beautiful neutrals in terms of this as well. Lovely quality, 100% cotton fabrics in here. Oh, hang on, that doesn't go there, does it? There. You do, oh, you need to start checking out, this is beautiful. We're limited on these ones. And then just, just very quick, can I just show you one more out of that? Because look at that one, I think this is so pretty. It's just got a little detail just down the side. Um, a very, very delicate pinstripe in there. And then you've just got that little edging there. Lovely. Right. Uh, the book, the book, Fat Quarters. Well, by the time that you've got your Fat Quarters, you need to know what to make with them. We might need some ideas. We were having a discussion the other day about what came first, the fabric or the idea. Did you, did you just find something that you just had to make and then you had to go out and source the fabric? Or did you have the fabric and go, no, that's what I need to make? But in here, you've got bags, purses, 25 different projects. So that's coming in, what, around 50p a project? Under, yeah, around that, 50p a project-ish. Your basics in there. And then you get onto the projects. Sightseeing so backpack. I am what I'm really loving on our fan page is seeing so many of you and, and your makes. And uh, one lady had bought um, one of our bag books and was working her way through it. She's going to have a lot of bags. There's your laptop bag. So a bag for all occasions in here. Home storage. Gosh, I need some more of that. Find me someone that doesn't need a bit more storage. So lots of different ideas there. Children's bags. Oh, look at the fox. Uh, if you want to applique. Or, oh, yeah, swimming bags. That's got to be a one. There we go. Your sleepover bag. Oh, that's tough, isn't it? The first sleepover. Evening bags and purses. Yeah, because they can be so expensive to buy. But if you've got glorious fabrics, you can just make your own. And no one's going to have the same. Especially for sort of weddings, things like that. Fab. That's all in there. 25 projects uh, for $12.99. Quick and easy. That's what they promise us with these. Quick and easy makes. There we go. Now, the grey, oh, sold out, well done. Oh, congratulations if you got the grey. I can seal that up now. The next most popular is the pink. Let's have a quick squeeze at that. Lots of sellouts this morning, well done. Ta-da! We love this one, look at that. Yeah. So this is what you're getting with this. You are getting beautifully coordinated, stunning Pima cotton, 100% Pima cotton. Um, the, this cotton, um, Pima cotton originates from Peru. My mum and I were talking about this. She was like, oh, so uh, she gets some sort of catalog with Peruvian stuff in it. She's like, oh, is that why it's all Pima cotton? I was like, yes, mum. Uh, now let's have a look at your, your vibrant violet. This is the next most popular. I had a beautiful ex-race horse called Violet Elizabeth. We just used to call her Violet. Five of you just pop that in your basket. Please check out. And you can be having Violet themed all sorts of things. Really beautiful. Uh, now the next one is this one, which is teal. Teal thoughts. I do love the teal. There. But you see, that's going to work through with the pink or the violet. Do you reckon I'll mix through with the navy? Can I just try? 
Which one have you got? Oh, did you put that one up? Okay, so the details were for that one, but let me just, uh, well, okay, hang on. If I show you that with the navy, so I'm just gonna, no, I'm just gonna keep the same one out so you can get the correct graphics for this one. But you see, actually, you can mix this blue through with the pinks, through with your teals. Details on the screen are for this one. Okay. Now, the next one is your midnight one, which is, again, it's like the grey. It's a real great mixer. It's going to work through with so many. 39.99. Looking good. This has got the lovely houses in. I like that one. GZHN49. But you see, you can also mix it through with that one. I quite enjoy that as well. Oh, where are we going? There we go. Yeah. Details for this one. I really love this. So this is your Colour Master range from Art Gallery Fragments. The hard work has been done for you. You know which one we didn't look at that I'd like to have a quick look at? I know we're really running out of time, but I, did, I didn't quite look at this one, and I wanted to. I forgot I wanted to. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? But that, the detail in there, it's all little dots and dashes, and you can get that detail because it's that Pima cotton. It's that long thread weave going through there, which gives you that tight knit. Beautiful. Right. Let's have a little look. Which one am I taking? The reds. Both of the reds. Oh, oh, those, oh, those ones. Right, okay. I'm going to take these, and I'm going to go over there. Come on, then. Because out here, I've got your Denise Schmidt. Uh, now, this one, been um, very... Lucy loves this one. Even her husband loved it. Now, look, this is the sort of thing that you could be making out of this colour wheel. Isn't that brilliant? I remember when Lucy made this on a show with me and she said her husband, unprompted, came up and said what fabulous fabric it was. Um, and so Denise Schmidt, we often associate with um, the, the, the graduated colour um, fat quarters and things like that, and, uh, and the charm packs. But here she's, she's been out having a good old um, design herself. So you get 29 fat quarters in here. I always feel it's a funny number, and I always have to recap. Like, oh, if I only got 29, don't you think you'd round up to 30, wouldn't you? But so you've got you've got your mauves, you've got your pinks, you've got the colours. You see, look, this one just ties all of those together, doesn't it? And so round it comes. Uh, so lots of different colour variations throughout this. If you want some neutrals down here, you've got some lovely blues going through here, but then if you want to mix those corals and those reds and those blues, then you've got that. So it's a, it's a lovely one to mix and match through. And, um, and not particularly girly, so if you're someone that has a, you know, a house full of boys as well, who are like, oh, come on, it's all a bit, bit pink and what's it, then this is a lovely one to throw in into the mix. There you go. Now, um, a design... <sighs> company that's quite hard to get a hold of sometimes in this company, uh, in this country rather, and uh, sometimes a lot of the time it needs to be imported from the States, is Moda. I've got two different Moda bundles for you. Um, let's have a look at this. It's, sorry, producer Paul went left one first, but having had the conversation about always camera left, I was like, well, no. Here we go. So what we've got here are um, different designers who uh, come to Moda and they put their different colours together. So you've got an incredible quality here with your with your Moda, beautiful 100% cotton. These are your fat quarters, and they just they work. They work with so many different colourways. And there they are, $39.99. This is your Sweetwater Fat Quarter Bundle. It, it's just incredible quality fabrics. Now, this one, now, the designer here, Bella, here we go, V&Co, but look at these colours. 
And this is how it will arrive to you all beautifully stacked. So again, if you want to just use them in that tonal, in that tonal order, then you absolutely can. It all works for treat, and that's $39.99. G-O-R-W-68. Fabulous. Now, that's fat quarters. Tick, done. Uh, now, after the break, uh, Victoria Peet is up, and we are going to be launching some brand new, fantastic, real fun fabric. Um, seaside themed, perfect for bathrooms, perfect for holidays, perfect for the summer getaways. Uh, we've got all of that coming up with brand new, fresh fabrics. We have also got the, um, the Lammy stuff. What's it called? Lammy Fix. Lammy Fix. It's Lammy something. Uh, we've got that back in stock and coming up. Paper brain, it's a nightmare. So I will see you after this very short break. Don't go anywhere. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Join us on Thursday the 3rd of May when Jess Entwistle is here with an hour of playroom delights for the little ones. Jess will be sharing her tips for making a hanging play tent with ideas guaranteed to capture those little imaginations. We also have a coordinating drawstring play mat which makes playtime fun and tidying away toys a breeze. Jess will also be showing us how the mat is made so all you have to do is decide which of our handy kits to choose. So start your day with an hour of fun and games Thursday the 3rd of May 8am only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. We are moving channels. For those of you who watch us on Sky, please note that our channel number is changing. From the 1st of May, Sewing Quarter will be live on Channel 687. Our Freeview Channel will remain the same, Channel 78, and you'll still be able to watch our live shows every single day starting from 8am. So, if you watch us on Sky, please remember we'll be moving to channel 687 from the 1st of May. I'll see you there. Join us on Thursday the 3rd of May when Lucy Brennan is back in the studio with a small but perfectly formed quilt design. This mini quilt by cool US designer Nicole Calver is a breeze to make and will look as good on your wall as it will in a cushion cover. Created for Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine, the design comes as a kit in three delicious colourways. Choose from fuzzy peaches, juicy purples and good for you greens. Lucy has all the know-how and is ready to show us how it's done, including clever tips for making half square triangles. So tune in for an hour of mini quilt greatness, Thursday the 3rd of May at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 68. Seven. Join us on Saturday the 5th of May when we are once again joined by the talented, creative and utterly delightful Mandy Shaw. Mandy will be here in the studio with a delicious array of sweet treat kits and patterns, including an adorable and oh so useful polka dot cupcake sewing kit. The time for tea wall hanging featuring an array of red work stitches is Vintage Mandy. Oh, and don't forget to say hello to Polly, the best dressed doll in town, complete with a wardrobe of adorable designs. So join us for a morning with Mandy Shaw featuring hearts, cupcakes and more at 8am and 10am on Saturday the 5th of May, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level.
So here, I'm all ready for my honey bobs. Like this. Yes. Or just a swimming lesson, actually. These are great, aren't they? So brand new fabric this hour. Victoria Pete's with us. She is raring to go. Actually, she's got a really nasty cold, bless her. So less raring, more snuffling. But she is she's snuffling ready to go. We've got such troopers on my for I guess. They come in with, hang on a minute, who put a dinosaur in? <laughs> they get everywhere. Room, room for a dinosaur. So we've got kits for bags and these. Um, do you want to see what this is? Actually, look, because you can put all your, all your storagey stuff in there. And just hold that up. Oh, something's going, you guys have gone very, very quiet on me. Hang on. Is that, is that a loose connection, my end? Oh, that's better. This kit, well, this one, that one. <laughs> this one, that one, which one? Uh, right, let's have a look. So if you want to be making this one, you are getting a metre and a half of fabric in total. So full instructions coming with it. We're going to demo this one as well today. So you get a half a metre of your deck chairs. Is it deck chair, garden chair? Holiday chair, outdoor chair. Hybrid. Hybrid chair. Oh, look at your starfish. And the, I love the, the sort of textured sandy base with your starfish. So half a metre, half a metre, and then half a metre of your red with a thread. Red with a thread. Um, here are your instructions, 19.99 with the Coastal Cool bag instructions. Fabulous. Fabulous. Now, if you would like... Um, can I hang that up somewhere? There we go. I, like, I have invisible hooks all over the place. Um, if you would like, should I do this one next? Yeah. And then we have got red hybrid chairs. Hey, we're doing a lot with chairs later, because later we're going to measure up so that you can cover your own chairs. Oh, look at the crabs. They're fabulous. Half a metre of each of these. And then your blue as well. These are all 100% cotton. They are 44 inches, selvage to selvage. Quilting weight, and there are your full instructions with it as well. 19.99. Now, um, if you would like brand new fabric, then here we go. Now, this is. Hang on, where's my duffel bag gone? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Um, it's this one, and it's kind of a faux patchwork for you. And again, 44 inches salvage to salvage, 100% cotton. Brand new today. So if you wanted, you could, I could imagine this is a, a lovely um, picnic rug. It's really good, isn't it? And then you see you might want to do a border of crabs or something. So this, these, these fabrics here are all available by the half metre. So you decide how much you want, and we will cut it in one continuous length for you. Maybe it's the deck chairs that you're after. Deck chairs, hybrid chairs, garden chairs. Chairs. Maybe it's the chairs. Wooden chairs that you're after. Garden chairs? They have a specific name. It have a name. They do have a specific name, and it eludes me. Six ninety nine per half a metre. Oh, you see, they're calling them deck chairs. They just look a bit heavy for those ones that, you know, they sort of drag out in the morning across the sand. Oh, look at this. Oh. Do we still want to look at that? No, nope. next one. I like the fact that you don't have a solid um, background. You've got texture in here. So if you would like, not just stars, but starfish. But from afar, it could just be stars, isn't it? And then you get up close. Oh, yeah. I think all bathroom accessories, holiday accessories are covered in this hour. But maybe you want them in blue. Got them in blue too. Just a lovely holiday quilt. Or maybe you live by the seaside. Maybe this is just appropriate for where you live. Certainly when I lived in Cornwall, this was the sort of thing that lots of people just had in their houses just because, you know, they lived by the sea. So you've got the detailing in there of the little white lines. Lots of you absolutely loving the new fabric. What about the crabs? Did anybody else used to go... Um, 
like pond dipping at the beach. What do they call it? We, we, ro we, crabbing. Rock pooling. Rock pooling, that's the one. And then you have to put them all back in. And you've got to try really hard not to get yourself pinched. Uh, and then you've got your red. So I haven't seen anything like this, actually. We've never had anything like this, I don't think. Not with crabs on. Have you had lobsters, just not crabs? Oh, crab claws. They're really good. Ooh. Oh, no, that, that's a... <coughs> not really the... <laughs> I've got two more for you. I've got... Yes, I have. I've got... I've got... Um, I've got a seahorse. Yeah, I have. Look at this one. If you're all about the seahorse, I can see a horse in this. Oh, that's fab, isn't it? I'm going to open that out so you can see a bit more. How many seahorses can you see in the seahorse fabric? Oh, there you go. Apparently, it's the male that produces the eggs with seahorses. Fact. And he gives birth as well. Oh, yeah. I had that awkward conversation with Freddie last night. Mummy, is the baby going to come out of your mouth? Um, um, oh, oh, look over there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, uh, and then there's you. We've all had to have those conversations. And then there's the deck chair in red. 6.99. S U R W sixty two. There we go. I was thinking stalks, gooseberry bushes. No. Now, Lamifix. It's but ah, ooh. <laughs> it's back. It's back. Um, you get a meter. Uh, th this is one of those things that looks very unincredible, but it is incredible. So basically, you have your beautiful cotton fabrics and go, well, hang on a minute. I want to put my toiletries in there or I want it for a lunchbox and things spill and I don't want my fabric getting stained. Well, then you, you, you put this. It basically laminates your fabric. Very clever. This sold out last time. It's only £4.49 for a meter of this which is great. Victoria is going to show us how to use it. Um, and it'll be more exciting to look at then. <laughs> Promise. Uh, now, two more kits for you. For this one. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I think this is so much fun. And it's not too big either. There's always that temptation, isn't it? You know, if I'm the only one with a bag, well, can I just put my sunglasses in and my sun cream and my this? And I thought, Hang on a minute. But if it's not that big, it can't fit as much in. Here it is. This is your half a meter of your patchwork. So you'll be able to make one exactly like what Victoria's done. And a half a meter of your um, starfish. And full instructions again. Now, maybe you want the seahorses. In which case, we've got your seahorses here, half a meter. Half a meter of that, and then half a meter of your crabs, and then you've also got uh, your, all your full instructions as well. Bring your wares. Well, it's kind of your wares. Hello. We'll mwah, share them. Mwah. Air kissing. Gem, gem, gem. Yeah, we'll sorry. Do that. No, that's all right. Thanks for coming in. That's all right. Um, now then, you made us this. Yes, I did. Hanging wash bag. I can't decide if it's a wash bag or if I'm just going to put my lunch in it. You could, yes. You've put your cutlery and serviette or whatever in the top pockets. Oh, that would be very, little very smart. Little salt and pepper it? sachets in your little pocket in the middle. Nice. That would work. And then, yeah, you could just open it up and there it all is. Pop it on your lap. Mm. It's almost like that actually becomes. Yes, it, yes, it could. Mm. Very inventive. It is, isn't it? It's great. And it's got a nice handle on the outside as well. Nice carry handle. So it's got the hook. So if you were using it as a lunch bag, you, you wouldn't you you didn't have to that put on. that bit in, but it's got a nice handle on the outside. If you want to hook your lunch up. Hook your lunch up. <laughs> Here is my lunch. Um, and so then and a very roomy... Yeah, it starts that. on this side. Oh, yeah, no, it's hidden down there. Hidden in. Very roomy. Um, Loads of room for sandwiches. There are, yeah, sandwiches. <laughs> sandwiches. 
or for all or of shampoo and conditioner. creams, shampoos, conditioners, everything else that everybody wants to take with them everywhere they go. Uh, now, this this is this has been Lamy fixed. Yes, and the Lamy fix will allow will turn your fabric into something that's wipe clean. Yes. You wouldn't you wouldn't wash it. Don't wash it, no. No, but it's good for wipe clean. So if you've got any spillages or gets a bit grubby, then you can just wipe down the outside. Because let's face it, when we go on holiday, it doesn't matter how carefully you pack, there's always something that leaks. Always a little leakage. Miserable. Uh, so what do we, how do we use it? So um, for this project, everything has been covered in Lamy Fix other than the binding. Okay. So you cover everything. And the way that it's been done in the instructions is uh, it suggests cutting your Lamy Fix two centimetres bigger on all dimensions. Oh, right, okay. Two centimetres bigger on each side. Why is that? Um, then you can apply it and then you can cut it perfectly to size. Because I think when you're cutting something that's so see-through and yeah, a bit tricky. slippery, yeah. there's room for error. So okay. I think apply it to your fabrics first and then trim everything down. So when you unroll it, obviously you get a metre of this and this is just a little sample of it. This is a Lamy Fix gloss. Oh, okay. Right. So, what happens next? So, I'll need the iron. So, well, What's I've got on? two different samples here. So, I've got the plain fabric, um, the red deck chairs. Like I say, they have got a name like Arondriac or Aaron something or other. Uh, apparently, Producer Paul says we've got a lot of people sending in that name. Brilliant. Um, if only I could pronounce it and remember. Um, Ad <laughs> See, I can't pronounce it even when I've Adirondack seen it. chairs? Adirondack. Adirondack? I, don't I knew they had a name. Uh, so that's Margaret. Beverly's also said the same. Uh, uh, Margaret's from Cornwall. See, she knows. So, I mean, if you don't know the name of a deck chair, I'm um, quite... You see them a lot in America. Adirondack. And they've got them in Australia. Well, you're going of... back to Australia, aren't you, for a bit? Just for a little visit. I'm going to see your mum and dad. dad. See my mum and dad. How long and has it been? my brother. And your brother. Oh, don't forget that. And my brother. Yeah, I haven't seen dad in a year. I haven't seen mum in two years. You're going to go and see him. That's so nice. It's great. Okay, so I've got two different, um, it's just so that you can see the difference between the two, two pieces of fabric, one with and one without. So I don't know if we can just see that, the difference between those two. I did wrong so, you can, so you can just see, that's the one with the lemon oh, yeah, 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 on it, yeah, yeah. and then that's just your standard fabric. So you can see it doesn't actually change the feel of the fabric too much. It doesn't make it really stiff, which is nice. Okay. So it still gives it some flexibility. So what you need to do, like I say in the instructions, it says to cut your Lamy fix two centimetres bigger on all sides. Right. Would you like to do the yeah, application? Yeah, go on, I'll, I'll, I do can that. do that. So um, you place it on top of your fabric, and I roughly cut out, well, in some instances, I roughly cut out my fabric shapes, and in other instances, I didn't bother, I just put it on to the half metre each. Went for it. Well, otherwise you're cutting twice, or three okay. times, because you're cutting the Lamy fix, and then you're cutting again. So Now, get your pressing sheet. Or your Teflon sheet. Get your, get your sheet. Put that over the top as well. Yes, because you don't want to ruin your iron. And just make sure that your Lamy fix... Um, How long do I do this for? Uh, just sweep over to begin with. And then you can have a look and just see whether that's sort of going on OK. OK, no, I need a bit more need over there. A little bit more. Hey, this... Because I'm used to... Um, Iron on interfacings and stuff where it's like seven seconds in one. Yeah. Move it along seven seconds. Yeah, you sort of do actually. a first pass just to make sure it's okay and you've not got loads of lumps and bumps and whatever. Make sure you press your fabric first so that your fabric is nice and flat. And then, oh, static, <laughs> static's itself That's looking on. warm. Oh, nice. Okay. Ooh. And then yeah, you can, really hot. yes, it is hot. And careful your sheet. Got a thread. Get a bit hot. And then you can go back and once you're happy with that, because when it's just adhered just a little bit, you can actually peel it back and reposition it if it's not oh, quite okay, so that's why right, you do the first if you've part. accidentally got yourself a wrinkle in there. Well, I had an accidental thread in there, so I've been yes, able to so pull you could the go thread out. Pull it out and then reapply it. And then you would go with a high heat and just slowly set that in place. Excellent. So I'm... what I would... Ooh, not that high a heat. Obviously, this high iron must be very hot. Because oh, I had my iron on at home on the highest temperature and it and didn't wrinkle. Right. So it must be this iron's very okay. hot. Okay, so I could just peel back and then just and reapply. And start again. Awesome. So what you would do is once you've applied it, yeah. that iron is hot, because I've just done this one out, the, out in the yeah. studio, yeah, and yeah. that one's been fine. So test your fabric. Um, allow it to point, set. Actually, isn't it? Yeah, I always do. With every interfacing that I use, I always test first, just to make sure that you've got your iron heat correct. Just don't think I needed to go in again. No. Better than I it's thought. Fine. Yes. Okay, so we've got so, it lamy fixed. Yes, and let it set. Yes. Let it cool and then trim all your pieces to size. Okay. So then you're ready to go. So 
So that's your fabric pieces. The hanging wash bag is made in several sections. We've got the, the large zip section at the, bo at the bottom. We've got uh, a little, oh, so on. you've got the large oh, zip section yeah, 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 yeah. at the bottom. Oh, lift it up a bit so I can introduce you to the bag. So we've got a large zip section at the bottom that's made from a front and four side pieces that make the gusset. Uh -huh. We've got a slip pocket at the top that's got binding on the top and bottom. Nice. And then we've got a, a slip pocket at the top with the vinyl as well with a zip and a couple bits of binding. Okay. So we're going to look at today, um, we're going to start off with making this bottom zipped section. Okay. Uh, do I need to put a different... Um Needle on for um, lamy fixed fabric. You know what? I I didn't, didn't. and it worked absolutely yeah, fine. It just go. went through with no problems at all, so that was fine. Um, you can use an ultra glide foot on your machine. Okay. But until this, generally speaking, you're not actually sewing directly with the lamy fix underneath your presser foot. Right. There's only I think one instance, two instances where you do. Okay. So it's it's not too bad. You can and get away with it. And it's not that sticky. It's glossy, but it's not actually no, that it's sticky. Not sticky. It's is okay. It? okay. So I just stuck with my standard presser foot. Yeah, and my it's not like foot. oil cloth, is it? It's not like you're trying to no, get it's to not oil really, cloth. No, it's not really thick and it's not really sticky. Okay, so to begin with, you've got your four gusset pieces, which are all the same size. And each of these I've sewn together with a one centimetre seam allowance. Now, the one thing that you've got to remember is that, um, and it says in the instructions, is that you leave one centimetre at the at either end of each seam. Because the top's got to go on. Because it? it's got to fit on to the main hanging piece. Yes. And you've got to get the top or yes. front section of the bag. So I join those together and then I've just joined, um, you, you do across the bottom and up the sides each, I think 16 centimetres okay. up each side, which then leaves you an opening at the top where your zip's going to be inserted. Okay, Lamy Fix zips. Is what we're looking at then this morning. <laughs> Lammy fix it. So what you do next is you just press under your seam allowance on the outside of the case. Do I, every time then that I go near this Lammy fix with an iron, do I get my Teflon sheet? Yeah, get your Teflon sheet. You see, I think that lulls me into a sense of full security that it's going to need longer because there's another layer through. Yeah. No, because it conducts not, the heat yeah, quite well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but the nice thing about this sheet is it's nice and flexible. Yes. I've got one at home that's really rigid and I find it quite difficult okay. to use. Whereas this is a nice, nice one. It's on my shopping list. Oh, is it now? It's on my shopping list. So we need to turn under a one centimetre hem on the front and then a one centimetre seam, seam allowance on the, the rest of the gusset that you haven't sewn to the front okay. to prepare yourself. So you don't put the zip in first. You don't put the zip you in first. You assemble everything else and then the zip goes and in. And then the zip goes in. Okay. Um, and I've deviated slightly from the instructions. Oh, Victoria. Because I was sort of hurting my head. <laughs> I was going, how on earth am I going to get that? Because really you don't want to pin through the lamy fix. Oh, okay, right. You yes. want to be able to just only have your stitching going through. Yes. We're not making something waterproof, but I think it's a shame to Wonderful. add holes yes. where you don't need to add holes. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the zip in two sections. The instructions say um, to clip it underneath where it's supposed to go and top stitch in place, but I'm doing it in two different halves. Okay. So I'm going to start off with, and I'm going to put it in on the gusset section first. And I've put the start of the zip on this side, which is as you look at the bag, it's on the left hand side. Because in my head, so I'm right-handed, I would pull it that way. Okay. If you're left-handed or you prefer to open the zips the other way, put the start of the zip the other side. You see, I wouldn't even be thinking, I'd just be so glad to get the zip to in. To get it in. That I wouldn't, yeah, and then afterwards, I'd be like, oh, oh I, I could have. Yeah. yeah. So what I've got is I've got the one, one centimetre seam allowance, and I'm just going to place the zip underneath that seam allowance. And I'm going to match up the raw edge of the gusset pieces to the raw edge of the zipper tape. And it's sewn up to here, and I've got a little marker point. I'm not sure if you'll see that, um, a little pink mark that I, I stuck on there. And I'm going to place the zip stopper at this point here. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put it slightly to one side. And I'm going to pin, but you can clip. But I'm doing it within the seam allowance. Okay, so it's not going to interfere with... So it's not going to interfere. And I'm just sense checking that I am putting that zip in the right place. Having said, I'm starting it on the left-hand side to then not do that would be silly. 
I'm just going to pin that as you go around. Ah, oh, now hang on, we've just gone around a corner. This is this Did you is just straighten where, it out? Yeah, on this one, just straightening it out because we're doing it in two halves. So that will then just bend round a corner. Oh, right, okay, easy. So that's easy. It's the other side that's less... Well, it's not difficult, but you just have to fiddle about with the zip a okay. little bit. Oh, yeah, because you've actually got a right angle, haven't you? Yes, there? yeah. Whereas this will just curve round nicely. Now, you see, this is where I also have to think about which direction I put my pins in. That's where I sometimes yes, find... Yes, you find your pins upside easier. down. <laughs> I, oh, and I have to take it out and repin it. Lots of reasons yes. with zips that I just have to yeah. engage my brain a little bit. And I've actually, I've asked for some a sew line glue pen because actually you might feel more comfortable... Oh, to base glue it, based in, it in place with that. Yeah, yeah we didn't. We when we first bought the glue pens, there we didn't realise just how useful how they were. How versatile they are! Yeah, they really are. Really versatile. So a good, healthy bit of pinning going good, on healthy here. Healthy bit of pinning. And my brain's a bit of a fog today, so I'm doubting myself as to what I'm doing. Oh no, never doubt. That is going in the right place. So I've got my presser, oh, presser foot, I have a presser foot. I've got a zipper foot on my machine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew from this wrong side okay. rather than the right side. So I'm move all the rest of the fabric out the way. And I might just take that oh, extra that's a table good idea. off. Yes. Just to give you a bit more space. And then you can slide the body and the goss gusset over the arm of the machine. Ah. Okay, I'm just going to open that zip because underneath you've got the, the zipper puller. Yeah. And it just feels a bit bulky and in the way. It doesn't lie Well, because you've, you've got to move this as well, haven't you? So yeah, you've got to get everything in and under. Back. I'm going to slide it under, actually. Okay. Under this way. And then back, I can start on. in here. Zips can be a bit awkward, can't they? I They're think just, that's why yeah. I sometimes think twice about doing them. But actually, I'm learning to... Um, Embrace the zip. Yeah, I am, because it's, it's okay. held me back on projects. I find that bad. Yeah, a lot of people just avoid projects when you think, oh, no, I'm not going to do that because it's got a zip, but actually it's not so bad. Just, yeah, just get on with it. And practice. It's just about choosing things that aren't too complicated. Give it a practice and see how you get on. Okay. It's the only way you learn, isn't it, with anything. No, that is very true. Yeah. Very practice, true indeed. Practice. So round we go. No special foot needed um, uh, zipper in terms foot. Of, uh, no. of Teflon feet. No, because like just um, foot. it's just going under quite nicely underneath that. And where you left and those, um, the gap that you left so that the top could splay, just sew straight over. I'm just sewing straight over those. Okay. And just, I'll put the, the needle down and I'm just lifting my presser foot so I can move the zipper puller back from, to where it came from. Okay. And it is a small enough zit, uh, a zip that you can... <laughs> Teenage skin. A uh, small enough zip that you can do that. Yes, yeah, but sometimes with a presser foot, don't forget that when you lift your presser foot, sometimes your machine will have an extra lift. Yes, an extra bit of oomph. Yeah, don't forget the extra lift if you're struggling to get it, get the zipper puller through. Another thing you can do is just put a safety pin through the, the eye of the zipper puller. Oh, that's a great so idea. A little, yeah, so you've got extra yes, leverage. So you've got a little hole there. So you can pop your safety pin through there and then you've got something to get hold of when you're rummaging around underneath your fabric. Yeah, because sometimes you can't quite grip it and that helps. Just to stick a safety pin on that and pull it through. This and right. So this is happening actually quite quickly from yeah. the pinning and everything else. It's yeah, coming it's in a treat. Yeah, it's not too bad. Because this is one of those really handy things that actually then you know all your toiletries and everything is uh, is there and it's good to go. Now the kit that we're using today, nineteen ninety nine, with full instructions. You're getting a meter and a half of our brand new fabric in there. Well, a meter of the brand new fabric and then a contrasting plane which is always very handy. Yeah, I thought it was nice actually to hero the prints by putting in a solid at the yeah, back. Yeah, no, I think, I think it really works. So, 1999. Uh, where are my instructions? There's for this? I've got, oh, you've got um, some. Not the, not the finished instructions. That's got a slight... Oh, well, no, here you go. Here you go. Oh, there we go. We've got, we've got go. the actuals. actuals, there we actuals. Go, rather than the ones with my scribbles on them. So here are your instructions. So it's all in there, it's all easy for you to follow. 
step by step. And I think, you know, having the pictures as well, the pictures, the show, the written instructions, however you learn, we've got it covered. Yeah, it's nice, because not everybody's a visual learner. Some people are written. Yeah. Different ways of now, understanding. Now, so that's in one side. So you've got that in one side. And let me just see how I can show you what this looks like. <laughs> Easier said than done. If I hold that. Oh, here we go. Ooh. We're coming in from the top. We're coming in from the top. Okay. So in from the top. Uh -huh. Should we turn it's it that way? Around. There we there go. There we go. We can see that. So I'm trying not to get my hand in the way now that you can see from the top. So we've attached the zip on this side, on the gusset side. Mm -hmm. So now we need to position the zip on the front of the bag. So we need to position that underneath. There. So I'm going to undo the zip. To its fullest. Yeah. Okay. And that just I'm glad we're tackling this bit because the, I, to me this is the um, this is the trickiest bit. It does feel like it's a bit tricky. Yeah. So because you've turned under your seam allowance, that's nice and neat. That will just sit nicely on the edge of the zipper tape. Okay. So I'll get a sewing clip. Let's just pin that kind of out the out way. Out the way, yeah. Out Remember, you can use these to pin fabric out the way. <laughs> I use them to pin back my hair half the time <laughs> yeah. as well. Why I go not? to pick up Freddie and I've got, um, I've got quilting uh, clips in my hair. <laughs> well, I'm I normally I covered funny in funny looks from the mums. Oh, it's that Natasha again. Yeah. Can't afford hair clips. <laughs> well, I'm either there with a lot of TV makeup or I'm there Yes, I know. No I turn makeup. up at the school run with like, <laughs> the most makeup on ever and everyone's like, you've been on TV again this morning. Yeah. How did you guess? Yes. Um, Mary Ann says, good morning. Please, can you let me fix both sides of the fabric to make the inside wipe clean? Um, says Mary Ann from Tottenham in Hampshire. You know what, I would say so, but again, test it just to yeah. make sure that it works go. okay. Yes. And that you're Do not... Do you think you would um, apply the heat in all in one go? Do you what, sorry? Would you put Lamy Fix on both sides and then apply the heat in a one -er? Or would you mm. do one side and then flip I and do the I other? I think I would do one side then the other, because then you've got more control over where you're placing it. Because if you've had to cut your Lamy Fix, and then you place your fabric on top. Where you place your other piece of Lamy Fix, you might put it in the wrong okay, place. Okay, so you know we did the placement sweep first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would probably then do that, and then do the same on the other side. Yeah. Because we don't want to overheat. We've discovered this morning no. you don't want to overheat it. No, so I would just do it gradually, gradually, gradually. Test it, Marianne. Theoretically, yes, but test it with the heat of your iron. Yes. Is Make what sure I would okay. say. So here, I'm just, and I've run out of sewing clips, let me steal them from over here. Well, you can, all, you can always fit ten, 10 in a pack. Yes, I'll just do. So I'm going along, and then when it just comes to these corners, just fold the tape under. So if we clip near the edge. Oh, like, um, like doing uh, tablecloth corners. Yes. And, Anyone and piping who has, cord. Yeah. Who has ever had to work in a hotel? Bo oh, a boxing tablecloth, says, uh, says Director Tim, who's clearly an expert on See, these. I've never worked in a hotel. Have you never? No, I worked in Pizza Hut. Oh, it was did my you? student job. Ah. Many, many years at Pizza Hut. Excellent. Which yeah, like no any salad or garlic bread with that. <laughs> There's a self service <laughs> bar. <laughs> so we've got that pinned in place, and then you can go along and just sew that. So you basically just in top place. stitch it. In. This one you're top stitching in, so oh, that's, that's easy. easy. So I just need to change the side that my zipper foot is on. And then, but it's not going to catch, is it? Because you've top stitched it. So the, the underside of it, there, that's not. Oh, no, 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 it's not going to catch. I was, I was thinking that we were having some. I was having a moment. You're you know, you have moment. to think about these things. I know, sometimes you just need to think, where right, what happens next? Where you fold it under that centimetre. Yep. You're, so you're going through the folded seam. Yep. And basically just tape. top, stick, top yeah. stitching. Yeah, so it's almost like you've is... skipped a step of yeah, sewing, almost. haven't you? Yeah. That's where I'm kind of yeah. getting at. Right, so we just needed a bit of jiggery pokery again to get that underneath the presser foot. Okay. Need to pull the bag out the way. <laughs> bag making, you will find, has got a lot of uh, jiggery, pokery. jiggery pokery and gymnastics involved. Well, bags. you're the lady for a spot of gymnastics. 
gym, gymnast coach. Yes, but not gymnast in practice. That's all right. <laughs> we we'll know the theory. Okay. okay. Are we forward okay. and backing? On yes, these I'm just well? going to do a little backwards. And then off we go again. And then off we go again. Oh, cool. And take yourself up to the corner, do a nice pivot. Are we going to leave that needle down as we pivot around? Yes, please. Yeah. I'm just going to hand crank that to get that in the right place. Needle down and pivot round. Okay. This is looking good. It is looking good, isn't it? Yeah. How are we doing for time? Um, we've got about 22 minutes. Oh, good stuff. But I'm going to leave you in just a moment um, and go and have a look at some fabric bundles. Yeah, good idea. And fabric. Good Shall idea. I do that while you do the rest, sew the rest of this zip in? Um, yeah, or is there anything that we need like. to know that's vital? Because we've no, got I'm just going to go all the way to the end and back stitch, and then that's the zip in. Easy. Easy, easy. Right. So over here we have brand new fabrics. Oh, yes. Now, a lot of you loving the bag, the duffel bag that we had. Um, so if you want to have the very, very soft, lovely rope finish, which I think finishes it off an absolute treat. Makes it look professional. It does make it look professional. Then for £5.49, I left the bag over the other side. Sorry. So here's the picture of the bag. And we've got the kit to make the bag. And I've even got the bag. There we go. And I have to say, these are super, super soft. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and then... You're going to need um, a way to, you know, do the eyelets. And here's your eyelet kit. And that's $9.99 for your prim silver colour eyelets and washers. And you even get the little, the little thing to do them with and instructions as to the order in which you put them in there. Brand new fabrics today. Let's have a look at these. Most popular. Go on, producer. Paul. What's the most popular? The seahorses. Really? Here we are. So most popular this morning are your seahorses and your brand new fabrics. It's quite an unusual fabric, isn't it? You don't get, you don't get too many seahorses around the place. It's a little mosaic -y, isn't it, almost? And almost uh, patchworky at the same time. So $6.99. P um, B R W Z uh, eight zero. You could um, I could imagine that as tiles actually, bathroom tiles. Next most popular, yes. The patchwork one. Let's see, do you like a faux patchwork? Hang on, my bag's falling off. There you go, bag. Stand there. So if you want to be able to make this, this is brand new today. So uh, whether you use it as just, you see, also, if you're cutting this into strips, it's going to be quite interesting as well, if you're patchworking with strips, or if you just want to use it as a faux patchwork, easy, easy to do. Nice pitch, picnic blanket out of that would be lovely. Or just use it for your bags and things like that. Crabs in blue is the next one. Just there. Here it is. So these are your crabs in blue. Again, $6.99 per half a metre. It's up to you how much you want. If you wanted a metre, you'd put two in the quantity box and we would cut it in one continuous length for you. So entirely up to you. Loads of you have got this in your basket. Please do check out. Fabulous. Now, uh, the patchwork bag. Yes, I've got two kits. Do you want to have a look at the first one? So if you want to make it exactly like this with those fabrics, um, again, the rope and the eyelets you can buy separately. Full instructions. There. And then you're also going to get half a metre and half a metre for $14.99. There it is. Again, you need to check out, please. Make sure that you've got those and, uh, and don't miss out on that. The other option has actually got our favourite fabric in this morning, which is half a metre of the seahorses and a half a metre of your crabs. And then, of course, full instructions as well. Lovely. Now, Victoria, 
What are you doing? What are you doing? I think it looks nice if you can just iron the, the corners or the edges of that front pocket. Right. So again, I've got the pressing cloth. It's just very little dwell time. Just to sharpen them off a bit. Okay. Is that going to help when we sew it? No, it just looks nicer when just it's finished. Just looks nicer. Yeah. Because this is, uh, I don't know if this is the same as with dressmaking. Once you um, press that seam, you only get, you get one chance to make a really good press <laughs> seam. And that sort of stays. That's what a lot of our dressmaking guests say. Yes, it's, it's, it's good to press as you go along, make sharper seams and give yourself a better finish yes. and get it right. I'll probably okay. don't do that for the time being. So that's just made. That Fab. gives it a bit more structure. Yep. Snip off any threads. Because oh. you forwarded and back, to, back didn't yes, you? Yes, so I you've, did. You've secured that. I did. Oh, you've got another one there. Hang on. Rogue threads everywhere. I don't even know where that one's come oh, from. I don't know. It's just decided to join in the party. Join in. So in. this is what we've just, we've just gone around. Hang on. <laughs> there. And you've got your zip that's now in. So you've got the front of the bag and your zip stops there. And now this needs to go onto this. This now goes onto the hanging body. So okay. you cut two of those out, one in the main fabric and one in, I decided it would be so nice to have it in the solid. You've prepped this, is this? Oh, so it's That's just... Lamy fixed on the one side because the other side is, is facing the wrong side of the other print. Does that make sense? Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now, the nice thing about this is that you can have all the raw edges you like because it's all bound. Yep, they're all bound. So it means that it's going to be really neat at the end. It will be nice and neat. And my tip for cutting out, actually, is, um, and I'll show you my scrawlings, is that there's a lot of pieces that are of similar sizes in the cutting list. So I've gone through and I've written down, so the top section are the main pieces that I needed to cut out in different fabrics but then down here effectively are all the binding pieces and smaller pieces so I actually worked out that I needed quite a few of the binding strips rather right. than cutting them all individually okay all right yeah, that's that's that all good helps to know. a little yes so again pin this I've got to pin this in place I'm pinning within the seam allowance and sorry I realize you can't see a, a jot of what I'm doing here I'm not sure I'll manage that one upside down so just, it's right, we can show this. And I've done a an Natasha and I've put the pins in the wrong way around. But hang we'll... on, hang on, hang on. Why is that being called yeah, a me? You said you have to think about which way around you put your pins in. Yes, I get it And right. I didn't yeah. think. And I just shoved <laughs> them in. <laughs> I see something. The non-thought process the gets non named process. after me. It, it does now. <laughs> it does I'm now. I'm comfortable with that. That's fine. So at the I, beginning... Uh, I make the mistake so that you guys don't have to. Yeah, exactly. You're happy. So when I said at the beginning that these gusset pieces were sewn together, leaving a centimetre at either end, yes. that's where you can see here how it sits nicely in that yes. corner. So now you can pin that. Or you could Whichever you... way, the Natasha way or the right yeah, way. Yeah, either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you can, you can use your sewing clips just to get that in place. I love a sewing clip, I'm going to be honest, because then I don't have to think about that. Yeah, true. They just clip on. Director Tim says he's now going to call every mistake Natasha. And Natasha, that's really no. mean. Oh, <laughs> that's unkind. And yet. And yet. <laughs> and yet. Okay. So those pin on in place. And so I'm you do just the... go around, you've just got to be methodical. Yeah. And I'm doing you? the other side as well, so that then you can get this top section pinned in the right place. Right. Oh, yeah, that's quite vital, isn't it? You don't want it going suddenly wonky. Yeah. on the top bit yeah and there are no um because it's all based on cutting measurements yes. rather than pattern pieces there's no pattern markings to there's right. no spots or dots or yeah dashes or anything to match up against so the lamy fix here is actually provided it's almost like it's been stabilized because it's got the lamy fix on there yeah it does i think this would be quite tricky to do if it hadn't been lamy fixed okay because i think well it just hasn't got as much structure so uh, the Lamy fix, and again, you know, it, it comes in a metre roll. And as you start to, and it's, first time we bought it, we sold, it sold out. And we oh, just I'm not surprised. Pink. So if you want this today, no, I've never seen it used either. Have you not? No, no, well, no. I'm just saying that, I've not used it on the show before. Haven't you? 
Okay. Oh, pin it so in. So look at that price, four forty nine for a meter of that, which is great. Okay. okay. It was on last year. Was that the last time we bought it? To her? Gosh, in December. That has been a long time, wow. hasn't it? It's a mile. Yeah. Oh, you really need to check shortages. out on that now because it's been so long. Yeah, I mean we're in People the fifth month of the year, aren't we? Which so, I can't um, get my head around at all. No, time is flying. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang so on. What's going on I've here? I pinned those three sides yes. round, and then we're just going to neaten off this edge. I tell you, these threads where they keep they coming keep from? They keep sneaking in, don't they? They are. So we're going to attach this piece of binding. So it's just double fold binding. So by so fold Long in half. Binding. And in half again. Does this can this just be straight binding? This is yes. not to be biased. No, it doesn't. It's not bias binding. And then you can slide. So you don't have to worry about raw edges or anything. They're going to be encapsulated or with your inside. Yeah. Nice. And I'm just going to stick a little clip on that for a minute. Okay. Because I just need to make sure that I've put that on evenly. Uh huh. So the inside. only pieces of this that aren't lamifixed are in fact the these bound edges. Yeah, just these bound edges. I like that it gives that different um different in texture. texture. Yeah, that's quite nice. Okay, so that's on there and then you've got your sides nice and even and then you can just place that down and then you can pin through all layers. <laughs> or you can <laughs> <laughs> if you're worried about which direction your pins are going in, if you're you worried could about your pins, because obviously you can't clip it on. You can stick a clip in the end. Yeah. But the minute you put that under the machine, it moves. It will, yeah. Yeah, that has an opportunity to move. Rascally thing. Oh, 10 minutes. We've got 10, ten minutes. minutes with you. Well, yes. we're along there. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, that hasn't gone all the way through. One thing is you need a good long pin. Just and to make also sure that you get through all your layers. A cutting mat as well to make sure that you um, you're not pinning onto your <laughs> onto your nice onto French your nice, polish yeah, kitchen absolutely. table. Because we all have say. French polished kitchen tables. You should see my kitchen table. <laughs> it's not posh. No. I've got my zipper foot back on the other side. I remember um, my friend's parents saying that their excuse for having a very higgledy piggledy house was that they were not going to decorate until the children had left home. <laughs> Like there's no point. Yep. Which meant that theirs could be the party house. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Sounds good to me. Okay. Whether the parents are aware of this fact, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm just going to sew along, and I'm sewing a couple of millimeters from the open edge of the binding. Okay. Does that make sense? So, so not from the folded edge. I'm doing from the the um, open edge. And are you keeping your zipper foot on there to um, mean you can get in that closer? Is it um, just because you couldn't be bothered to change um, it? For me, for this, yeah, for this one, you could change back to a normal foot. But when you come to create the top pocket of the hanging wash bag, mm -hmm. the top has a zip in it. Ah, okay. So right. it's up to you. There's, you it, perfectly possible to sew this with a zipper foot on. Actually, the, using the zipper foot as a guide, the edge of it as a guide is quite handy, yes, isn't it? Yes, it's not bad. That works quite well. And then you get lovely, neat stitches. Not that you wouldn't anyway, Victoria. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you wouldn't attach it. I'm not sure you know me that well. <laughs> Whereas I think you know me far too well. <laughs> I do a lot of wonky stitching, I promise you. Oh, that's refreshing to hear. Deary me. <laughs> yes, Directson, that is probably also doing an Natasha. I'm also renowned for my wonky stitching. <laughs> wow. Okay, right. So just sewing along here. Oh, a stock warning. Oh, these. Like flashing light. Where? Oh, the bag cord has suddenly gone super, super popular. Oh, yeah, I really, really love it. It's so soft. It is very soft, so very pliable. Soft. And just looks beautiful. I mean, you're not going to tie your boats up with it. It's no. Not, it's not that no. harshness. It's incredibly soft. And it's, uh, it's £5.49, and it's, it feels beautiful, but you do need mm. to check out. So if you are making the bag, which I've managed to leave, it's always, always on in the, wrong the other set. Uh, but if you'd like to make it, add it into your order so that you can make this bag. You do need to check out on that. I think that really makes that bag. I love it. It's nice. And with the cord ends, I placed the ends together, mm -hmm. and then I just stitched sort of from this side to this side and just stitched across, yeah. across, 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 all the way around and then just bound it in a fabric Perfect. rectangle and Done. just slip stitched that on. So nice. it's easy. 
So that is your hanging wash bag stuck on at a slightly jaunty angle. Fabulous. Because it's not terribly straight. I've got a bit of a wobbly bit here. So right. you do that. And then from here, you can create your top zip pocket. Right. Which is this uh, one now, here. Now, um, this isn't Lamy Fix that we've used with this, is it? No, it's this not. Is it's vinyl. Our, our, clear, our glass vinyl. I love all these. It's called, it's, they've called it glass vinyl. That's the see through there. Okay, glass? What? Glass? glass? Not selling glass. That's what it's called, glass vinyl. So if you'd like to get this, then you can get this by the half meter. Yeah. Which is brilliant. And, um, and not, uh, what I've just come to discover is that not all sewable vinyls are created equal. Look no. at this. This is your glass clear PVC, and it's 2 99 per half a metre. And again, this was another one that just flew out when we first bought it to And air. it's one of those things, like you say, they're not all created equal. No. And some of them are really tough and really rigid. But and this, this one's one... got a good level of pliableness nice. to it. Pliable is definitely a word. Now, yes. What are you doing to it? So on this one, we've got two different pockets. The, the lower pocket is um, attached. Well, it's got binding on the top, mm -hmm. and then it's attached at the bottom with another piece of binding just to cover the raw edges. And then it's got a dividing line of stitches through the middle. And that is going to allow you to... Because I was thinking, why didn't they just do sort of like open binding to cover them? But actually, what I realised is that where you've got that line, where you've got the two different lines, that then allows it to fold. Yes, yeah, very cleverly and go designed. Over. And that's what that pocket is then allowing more fold. Gives it the shape. Yeah, perfect. The shape and the structure. Oh, and those magnetic clasps, they've, they've, they've gone and clasped. They really do clasp. They do clasp, don't they? Yes. So with those clasps, if you um, get to a point where you've put on the middle pocket and then the top zip pocket, you can then, it gives you a spot at the top as to where to position okay. half of the magnets. So you could do, you could do this with magnets, you could do this with if you bought the Prim Popper set yes. the other day, you could use those. But we do have magnets for you. So here they are, they're on the screen for you, 449. Super strong. They are super strong. They are really strong. They're really good. So, uh, which is great because you don't want all your stuff falling out of it. No, you don't. Okay. So we've got one pocket. Yep. Here. And then on the bottom, you place another piece of your binding along the bottom. It's just very awkward with a big box in the way. I just love that we've got see-through onto see-through. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Is the invisible demo. It is. Here, here's something that we know is there, but you can't yeah. see it. Yeah. We know it's great. And you'll just have to believe us. You have to believe us that it's there. So you can attach that. I'll stick those on here. You've got four minutes, my love. Four minutes. But I have to say, I know we, we joke about it being the invisible show, but it's really handy. It is. It is really, really, because super handy. You know, whenever you look at anything that has um, invisible pockets like this or, you know, see-through pockets, you can see your stuff. I know. And you know yeah. exactly where it is. You're not rummaging. No, because there's always that bit. And the little bits that you're going to put in these would be the bits that get lost at the bottom. Yes, they would be. Which means you have to turf everything else out. So really handy. So I'm just sticking one pin in the middle. I'm trying to. Three minutes. Three minutes and counting. Okay. So we'll just now sew. So this top part of the pocket, you don't sew down. Yep. We're going to sew this binding in place like we did for the lower zipped pocket uh, section. We're going to sew along again next to that open edge rather mm -hmm. than the folded edge just to top stitch that. And again, we're not worrying about this edge because this is all going to be bound. That will all be enclosed in the binding. Nice. And then if you want to, you can then divide the pocket. And okay. If you divide it in half, you can not divide it at all. You can do it into lots of little pockets. Well, you know what nicky knickknack things yeah. you've got. What you tend to carry around with you. Yeah. I'm just trying to think what I would put in there. Versatile. Tweezers, hair, hair bands. Oh, hair bands. Yeah, all that yeah, sort of, all that sort of thing. Like to roll away. Eric to Tim agreed that hair clips are, they're very tricky. They're always they're the tricky. bits that end up at the bottom of your bag. Possibly covered a bit in makeup. Yeah, you can yep. never find them. Nope. But they're there, all of them. Yep. Hundreds of them. Yep. 
which you find once you've done your hair elsewhere. Uh, so we've got a couple of minutes left. Uh, please do check out your baskets on whichever ones you've decided to go for today. So we've got options of either the wall hanging bag or your duffel bag. Can I call it duffel? Yeah, it's yeah, it a, a duffel, duffel bag. bag isn't yeah, it? I'd yeah. call that a duffel bag. Can we just have a moment of the word doesn't sound right? Yes. Yeah. Not as un strange as those deck chair name, which I can't get my yeah, head Yeah, now around. what was that word again? Um, uh, Air Adrian, Ad no. Produce Paul, what was that name for the deck Come chairs on. again? Paul, you can do it. Come on, Paul. Ad Adirondack. 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 I'm going to have to look up what the history of that is now. Where's that name from? It's a place in Canada, apparently. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You see, our viewers know. They are the all-knowing ones. The Canadians invented the chairs. It's a what, sorry? It's, no, it's a mountainous region to the north of New York. Oh, right. Uh, says Susan. So a little bit of conflicting thoughts on this. There are. Do they need a lot of deck chairs then? Oh, you wouldn't In the middle so, of a mountain? And I don't know. Well, I don't know. Ski, look at the ski view. area. Sit and look at the view and have a yeah. hot drink or a cold drink or... Oh, we've got a minute. Yeah, and I'm making a dog's dinner of this. That's all right. That's all right. Because I should have used the glue. Didn't have enough time for the glue. Ah, well, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Crikey, Still arriving. looks all right to me, I have to say. I don't see what the problem is. It looks great. Very wonky. But if you squint, don't look too closely. It'd be fine. Let's have a little look at this. So there we go. So if I move it round like this, it'll look... <laughs> we'll all feel seasick. And that's not the theme of the show. Not it's quite. seaside, not seasick. <laughs> So you've got your little pocket here that you would then divide as, as you would like. Yes. Actually, do you want to pass or hold the other one and then you can see what happens uh, next. So you've got the bigger vinyl pocket here yep. that's got the zip added on the top. Yep. Then you stick your magnets in, yep. stick your hanging hook, attach your handle to the outside, join it together, stick your binding on. Fabulous. Job done. Job done. Perfect. You're back in an hour. I am back in an hour. Uh, I've completely forgotten what we're doing. Oh, no, the, the chair. The oh, chair the chair. Cover. Yeah, you have to look as well, don't you? I'm and thinking, the, what did I do? I brought a chair in the, my car. And the door decor. The door decor. Stay Fancy. with us for that. Thank you, my love. No problem. Brilliant. Yeah. Still think it's like a lunch bag. Now, let's have a look. What do you fancy? Which ones are you going for? Please check out for your, um, your cord, by the way. Uh, right, do you want to start off with that, producer Paul? Yeah, let's start off with the glittery PVC. Here it is. So you can get this by the half metre as well. Let me just... Now, I just want to show you what... There. So this is your um, glass clear silver, but it does look... It's got, a, it's got all the colours in there. Kind of an aurora borealis finish in that very lovely three pound 49 that one um and that is per half meter so again you can get it cut in continuous lengths incredibly useful now if you like the beach bag we've got an accessory kit which is the instructions the rope oh hang on that's it Instru oh that one instructions rope and eyelet so that's your accessory kit so if you want to get it all in one, or if you've just bought different fabrics, and you've gone, okay, you will need a metre of fabric for the bag, and then pop this in your basket as well. For 16 99 you've got the rope, you've got the eyelets, you've got the instructions, and then it's up to you, and then you can, you know, you can use whichever fabrics you choose to go with it. Uh, now, the beach bags, let's have a look at the beach bags then. The options that we've got for you today with the instructions and a metre of fabric are your seahorses, Seahorse and crab. Those two, half metres of fabric and your instructions, $14.99. Or if you want to be able to make it exactly as we have it here in the studio today, then we've got this one. And this is the most popular out of the two. I think it's one of those things that when you can see it, it really does make a difference, doesn't it? So you do need to start checking out on that one, $14.99. Fabulous. Now, if you want to make the hanging bag, that we've just had on this morning. Then we've got, um, well, blue and a red option. Yeah, here we go, these are your two different. So there's your, your deck chair with the name I can't pronounce and your starfish and your red plane, that one. So that's for your coastal cool. 
1999. And the other colorway that we have for it, which is the one that we've just demoed, is the blue. And then you've also got your crabs, half a meter, half a meter, and half a meter of your deck chair there for 19.99, and your full instructions. It's all there. Fabulous. And of course, remember that underneath on the watch page will be all of our brand new fabrics there for you to choose and buy as much of as you wish. So if you want to do a picnic blanket or if you want to do more bags, then you can buy by the half meter and it will come in one long continuous length. Uh, lots of you doing that this morning, so well done. Lovely to be able to launch new fabrics as ever. Um, so, you know, after the break, let's launch some brand new ones. So after the break, we've got Natalie Milan brand new fabrics. They are uber pretty, but we've also got, you know, a bit of bunting as well. Oh, yes. So celebrating all things a little bit royal, actually, after the break. So you can be ready to uh, celebrate the royal wedding with some Union Jack based things and some pretty fabrics after the break. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Join us on Thursday the 3rd of May when Lucy Brennan is back in the studio with a small but perfectly formed quilt design. This mini quilt by cool US designer Nicole Calva is a breeze to make and will look as good on your wall as it will in a cushion cover. Created for Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine, the design comes as a kit in three delicious colorways. Choose from fuzzy peaches, juicy purples, and good for you greens. Lucy has all the know-how and is ready to show us how it's done, including clever tips for making half square triangles. So tune in for an hour of mini quilt greatness, Thursday the 3rd of May at 9 a.m. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78, and Sky Channel 687. Love Patchwork and Quilting is the best selling modern quilting magazine that shares your passion for fabric. We publish 13 times a year, featuring must make projects, essential techniques, interviews, news, and reviews from the world of modern quilting. Every issue comes with a free gift. Join us on Saturday the 5th of May when we are once again joined by the talented, creative and utterly delightful Mandy Shaw. Mandy will be here in the studio with a delicious array of sweet treat kits and patterns, including an adorable and oh so useful polka dot cupcake sewing kit. The Time for Tea wall hanging featuring an array of red work stitches is Vintage Mandy. Oh, and don't forget to say hello to Polly, the best dressed doll in town, complete with a wardrobe of adorable designs. So join us for a morning with Mandy Shaw featuring hearts, cupcakes and more at 8am and 10am on Saturday the 5th of May, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. 
We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Hello, welcome back. Now I promised you new fabrics. Yes, yes, yes. And so here they are. Uh, this is by an American designer, Natalie Milan is her name. Very, very pretty. She's an amazing illustrator in her own right. Uh, she does a lot of, um, a lot of uh, illustrations for magazines and things like that. Uh, she also does a lot of paper crafting and design work for that side of things. But she also does some beautiful fabrics as well. Very talented lady. So, how about this for very, very pretty? Brand new to wear. Look at this. Now then, I'm going to open this out because it's very, very pretty. Feels beautiful, by the way. Very, very soft cotton fabric here. So I would say if you wanted to quilt, absolutely. And if you wanted to dress make with this as well. I'm going to imagine that this is 44 inches selvage to selvage, but you know what? Let's just double check, shall we? Let's just, we have the technology. We have the technology. There you go, 44 inches, selvage to selvage. Um, that is 111.7 centimetres. There you go. Now, this is 100% cotton as well. That's... um. Director Tim Tessie, me, who normally has all the conversion charts up for me. But this is 100% um, cotton, brand new today. Incredibly soft cotton. And so this could be, this could be used for your dressmaking as well, if you wish. And very, very pretty watercolour based design. Uh, so that is number one. Isn't it beautiful? Now, you see, that's, that's very summary. I wonder how inspired... She's one of these um, American designers, and, and you look at her work, and then she shows you her picture-perfect family. She's got four beautiful children, all absolutely stunning, um, and, and the most gorgeous house as well, which is beautifully decorated. And you go, yeah, you can see... You can just see how these fabrics fit in beautifully into that home. So this is your next option. So this is your um, Delphinium Brushed Bouquet. Ever so pretty, isn't it? Brand new today, American designer Natalie Milan. Brand new today, 7.95 per half a meter. I could imagine little girl's dresses out of these. I think they'd be incredibly pretty. Right. Um, ooh. Now again, a watery, um, a watercolour feel to these. Let's open this out fully for you. Get the full effect of these beautiful new fabrics. There we go. How about that? So very versatile. Pretty fabrics. We've brought you of late quite a lot of green bundles. So maybe you've got lots of plain greens. This would work beautifully with it. Or you've got the option to pick out yellows, greens, pinks, or even just a grey. That bluey grey that we have. Really lovely. So again, 44 inches selvage to selvage, 100% cotton. Incredibly soft and beautiful to work with. And this is the thing, you know, I get spoiled. If I, if I try, you know, a lesser fabric to work with than the fabrics that we sell here, it just doesn't feel right, you know. Work with lovely quality fabrics would be, you know, that's the aim, isn't it? Now, the next one is a different colourway of that. Is it me or is it warm in here today? We just can't get the, can't get the temperature right in here. 
Here we go. So maybe you want to go for the blues. So you've got two different colorways with her fabrics today. We've got the blues and we've got the pinks. And this is your peacock fabric, your delphinium peacock. It's lovely. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I said that, Producer Paul. Yeah, she did. She did start out as an illustrator. Uh, she still illustrates an awful lot for, uh, for magazines. Uh, that's where this painty feel is coming through. And that's very much her style as she illustrates as well, is, is watercolour style designs. Uh, a lot of portraits, actually, in her work. And she's married to a very good artist as well, who does the most beautiful portraits. So, um, you know, very all-round talented family. Now, two more to show you of our brand new fabrics this morning. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. Uh, oh, this is very pretty as well. So I've got a blue version and a green version. How about this? So very soft color, very soft palettes here, very restful, very peaceful with these. And again, great excuse. Now you could work this through with pinks, with grays, with blues. Very, very versatile. Oh, producer Paul thinks tableware for the summer. I think little girl dresses. But I also think, you know, for your quilts, tablecloth, things like that, napkins, things like that, very lovely. So are we going to have another barbecue at yours this year, Tim? If we get some, right, okay. That's not a promise then, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> uh, right, 7 95 per half a metre. And our last brand one, and actually floor manager um, criticism, when you go out, could she possibly turn that heating off a little bit? It's got, suddenly got a bit in here. We came in this morning, it was freezing. There we go. Here we are. So this is your green version. So again, this is going to work beautifully. Mix and match it through with the others. Or maybe you just want to have this for your quilt and just have it in your stash. This would actually make a really lovely blender as well, especially if you are working with brighter florals. To have that calm green go through. Very lovely. So these are brand new today. Natalie Milan, um, lovely, lovely fabrics. They're, the feel is incredibly soft. 100% cotton, which we always love. 44 inches, salvage to salvage. Lovely, lovely. Now, one last fabric. We brought this to air for you yesterday, brand new yesterday. But we, th we were having a chat in the office. We're going, you know, there's a royal wedding. We've got to give you a, a nod to the royal wedding, haven't we, for those of you that, that love, love the royals. Uh, so we wanted to bring you sort of quintessentially British things. And so this was our linen look fabric. Now... This is 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Cheerio! I think it is what Londoners say. I think that's, what, uh, that's clearly what Londoners say. If you are a Londoner, please do message in and tell us the last time you said cheerio. It's not just a breakfast cereal, is it? No. Uh, you've got cake. Now, the, yeah, I'm with that. And lamps as well. Uh, and, and all those things that we think of. Now, producer Paul said today, that, uh, this is what I wanted to ask you lot out there, because you're a clever bunch and you'll know. Producer Paul said that the union flag is only a union flag. Uh, it's only called a union jack when it's on a boat or a ship. Is that right? And if so, why? So we said we all call it the union jack all the time, but it actually only becomes the union jack when it's on a, on a ship. Can anybody shed any light on that? You didn't know why. So here we go, your umbrella. No, yeah, you need that in London, don't you? Tea time, always time for tea. Oh, the Union Jack is only Union Jack when it's on a Royal Navy ship. Oh, they've even narrowed down the type of ship it needs to be on. And the rest of the time, and so the rest of the time, it's just the Union flag. Producer Paul just keeps saying, yet again, he's correct. Well, there's going to be no living with him now, is there? 
<laughs> he says, I don't live with him. That's all right then. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to with you being correct all the time. <laughs> he says, it's a curse. Oh, oh, I hear those violins. It's a shame there's no violins on the fabric. <laughs> So that is your Union Jack fabric. Uh, yeah, it might be on a ship. Let's say it's on a ship. Um, and you've got all of your London landmarks on there as well. $4.99 per half a meter. Now, uh, as I was saying, this is 80% cotton, 20% polyester, and it's 140 centimeters selvage to selvage. A little bit of fun. Yeah, a lovely cushion, a bit of fun, a rucksack, something like that. If you know someone that's going off on their travels, um, I think one of our viewers said they were going to buy it for their daughter in, in New Zealand when she goes out there. Now, how about some of this? Some of this, some bunting for you. You've got to get the bunting out, haven't you? So what I've got for you is two different kits so that you can get the bunting panels. Hang on a minute, I'm going to tie this on over here. Here we go. Let's tie that up there. What you are getting are the panels so that you can, you can do your bunting. So a panel of the fabric, of the bunting fabric. Oh, it doesn't want to stay. Now, at the risk of uh, pulling the whole thing off the wall. There we go. You can get your bunting up. So maybe you're having a street party for the wedding. There we go. Let's see if I can get that on there. There we go. Decorating the set as we speak. So, two options for you this morning. Uh, you get the panel, you get thread, and then you get a meter of um, backing fabric. Now, this is if you want to make it exactly like this. These are all posh. So this is going to be a bunting you bring out year in, year out. So for birthdays, anniversaries, anything to celebrate, get your bunting out. Um, and then, so this all backed beautifully. It's, yeah, Commonwealth Games, Olympics, anytime. I, I like an excuse to have a good celebration. And I feel that getting the bunting out is one of those times. Um, right, this is the panel that you're getting. So you'll be able to do that length of bunting. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter, depending on how you space them. But you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen different pieces of bunting. And our boss, Haley, said that she thought the reason she was going to put in a meter of fabric was this. So that then, you could then spread out, this is your uh, denim linen look fabric. And you get a meter of this. So then what you can do is pop that there like that. Pop that face down. This is, this is her tip for easy bunting. I didn't know she'd ever made any. This is Hay no, yeah, I know, I know. You may sound surprised, but this is Haley's tip. Our Haley. Oh, is this from one of the books that we sell? Well, it's, it's good. She's read, she's learnt. That's good. So you'd then put that down like that, and then sew round and then just cut it out. I would pinking shear it out. Sew round. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Uh, no, leave the top. Leave the top. Just sew round there, there. Cut it out, and then you see when you turn that through, you'll cover that in your binding so you don't have to do that separately. Just make sure that you don't have any bulk in those edges. And then what you've got is all of this down here, the rest of your meterage there, so that you can do your binding. Thought about it all. Thought about it all. So then you've got, you've got a lot there. And I, I think, you know, you've got within these colors, I mean, I don't know if we can see here, for example, in fact, let's just look at the panel, because the panel is really pretty. It's um, obviously from afar, when you look at it, yeah, 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 flags. But when you actually look at the fabrics within it, it's incredibly pretty. So you can bring this out for the boys, you can bring this out for the girls. You've got florals in here. Well, in fact, each one is a little bit different. So you do, you've got some florals in there. And there. 
And it, it's just, so it's ever so pretty. When you start looking at it, the fabrics within it are very pretty. This is one option that I have for you. Now, the other option has a red background. We have, um, we, we have family bunting. And we've, we first bought it for our wedding because we, um, we had our reception at home. And so uh, we, we, decorated, we decorated everywhere with bunting. We've got meters and meters and meters of stuff. That's when I first realized how expensive bunting was and, uh, and how it's so much easier just to make your own. I need to have time. So with the next one, you get your red bunting uh, for the background. And actually, I have to say, it comes out every time we have a party. I think it came out for my granddad's 90th last year. It came out for New Year's and Freddie's birthday. Uh, this year, it, it's always... In fact, I haven't actually taken it down yet. It's still up in one of the rooms, so hey-ho. Now, here you get a metre of your red. Let me just show you. You'll get a metre, OK? This is just half a metre, but you'll get a full metre. But just so that you get an idea of how those colours are going to work. Which do you prefer, Producer Paul? You prefer the red, do you? Let me just fold it over so you can see the red. There you go. And you see, depending on how, how well you cut out, you might well end up with a nice strip through there that you could use as well for a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra binding. So again, you will get a meter, a meter of the red, a meter of your uh, Union flag, Union Jack uh, bunting, so that you can celebrate, well, whatever it is you want to celebrate. Do you, well, of course, there's the royal, royal wedding, yep, the new royal baby, all those sorts of things we can celebrate, can't we? Any sort of birthday. The royal wedding is May, it's this month. It's, not, it's the 19th of May, it's not very long away. The same day as the FA Cup final. Oh, I wonder who will be celebrating more. <laughs> there you go. I have to say, I went, um, I went and met a friend in Windsor the other day, and oh, the decorations that are already up uh, in Windsor, ready for the royal wedding, it's going to be quite, quite the occasion. It's exciting. Love a good wedding. Yes. What, Producer Paul? Uh, you like a premiere? Do you now? What premiere have you got? Yes, we would have that as a premiere if I hadn't have left them on my desk. I, I, do you know what? I feel really bad about this because I promised Chris after I'd had a go looking at them that I would, um, I would bring them into the studio so that he didn't have to panic about them. So a massive apology there. Whoops. Sorry. I've got a new premiere for you though as well. I did apologise. Has he heard my apology? Sorry. Now... Um, lots of you uh, have been asking us for starter kits for patchworking. Maybe you've come across from dressmaking. Maybe you're just starting out for the very first time. And we always say, um, buy cheap, buy twice. So, sorry, Chris. Sorry. Come on. Um, so, um, what we've brought you here is a top quality quilting set to start you off with everything that you need. So in it, you will get the good in this one. When you get it home, there's a lot, isn't there, in there? You've got a rotary cutter in there. La, 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 there's so much. Uh, here's your rotary cutter, and this is from Alpha. So a brand that we know and trust. So there's your Alpha rotary cutter. There. Fab. 45 mil, so you're, you know, your normal quilting weight. And what I really like about this is that you've also got in here, if you're a dressmaker, you will have probably dressmaking pins. Or if you're starting out and you look, at, and you look for things like pins, you might be like, oh, hang on, there are so many different pins out there. So what we've put in here, well, Prim have put in here, your glass-headed quilters pins. So they're in there as well. You've also got needles, so these are quilters needles. If I can get these out. They are the, the so these are great, because if you look at these, I don't know how close we can get on this. Because, hang on, let me just check, there, yeah, they are. <laughs> there you go. That would have been awkward if they weren't the magnetic ones, wouldn't they? They've been all over the shop. 
<laughs> Luckily, disaster averted, and it was the pack I thought it was. Um, and so you've got all your very delicate little quilters needles in there. So you can, and so you just take them, in and then when you're ready for them, you just press them down. And then when you want them out again, so they don't spray everywhere, it's like magic. And then you get, I could spend hours just playing with that, but that's not all you're getting in here because you're also getting um, quilting needles for your machine. So this is everything that we sort of, we mention regularly, oh, you should have this, you should have that. And the actual quilting needles for your machine and you're getting five in there, quilting weight. You're also getting your uh, stitch unpicker, your seam ripper. Let's face it, if you uh, sew anything, you need one of those. And you've also got in here your erasable pen so that you can, there we go, that's your water erasable pen. That's just the first layer of goodies. The second layer, it's a lot in here, isn't there? Now, you get a booklet in here as well. Shall we have a look at through the booklet? So again, it's going to talk you through different things that you need. It's actually... If it gives you lots of other options for things in there. Hints, tips, quilting stencils, all the sorts of things that we say, oh, you could have this, you could have that, that you can buy from us. So you get that in there as well. Uh, you also get a ruler. Okay, so this is from Prim. Let's get this right. This is from Omnigrid. Prim, we'll pop it in there. And this is 6 inches by 12 inches. And as you can see against my top, how, how clearly those marks really stand out. So a very handy sized ruler to get you going. And then lastly, and this is my favorite bit, not gonna lie, I love the color, but also, <laughs> this can lull you into a sense of false security when you first start quilting, that you won't need too much space because the cutting mat is a foldable one. It means you've got more space for your fabric. So here it is, this is brand new today. You get your folding A3 cutting mat. Love the color. You've got your inches there. You've got your degrees, you've got your 45 if you're cutting your two and a half inch strips for your, your bias. And then it's got grips on the underside there. So it's gonna sit and grip onto your surface so that when you're cutting, it's nice and safe. Um, and then look, that folds. So it is your folding cutting mat, so it's not going to take up too much space. Or if you're off to workshops, because that's how a lot of us start off learning, isn't it? You start off going to workshops, so you've got a nice little kit there that you can just pack up. So then let's have another look through. Cutting mat, folding cutting mat. There is your, uh, your ruler. You're also going to get your rotary cutter, your, uh, your needles, your pins, your actual machine needles as well. You get your stitch on picker as well. And you're also going to get your erasable pen. All in. It's all in there, which is just fabulous. So fabulous quality. And you know, $62.99 to have everything you need to start a new hobby, just add fabric. I think is fab. Yes, let's do the other premiere that I left in the other room that has now arrived. Do check out your baskets. Bunting is very, very popular this morning. Now, this is the next one. Oop, there we go. These. What are they? These are your clover loop pressing bars. They're not weird tongue depressors that you get at the doctors. No, 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 they're not that. They might look like it. You get um, five different widths, and I'll just show you what they can do. So if I show you here, bag loops, anything like that, I don't know about you, but um, I can turn them inside out, that's fine. 
but then I have to press them, and, and often my edges are tricky to do. So this gives you uh, the plastic to insert, jiggle about so that, they are, that you do press them the full width of the fabric, and then you can either press your seam to one side, or you can press it open. Now they've used their little clover mini iron because it's clover, but you can use your normal iron on this as well, no problems at all. So you can press then your seams open, and then if you want to um, put cord in there or anything like that so you can do 3D, then you loop your cord through the end and pull it through. So great if you want to do um, Celtic knots, things like that. So not only can you make, there you go, there are your 3D loops. So it's a really nifty little piece of kit. Um, so you've got your loop pressing widths of 6 mil, 9 mil, 12 mil, 15 mil, and 18 millimeters. That's how wide these are. And here they are. And what I would say is, you know when you, um, when you first turned your fabric through, say your bag handle or something, you've turned that through. I don't know about you, but sometimes I don't actually manage to press it open to the full extent. So now you absolutely can with these. So you can jiggle those about, push those seams out. You can press your seams open, press them shut or to one side. You can then, if you want, loop your cord through there and pull through if you wish. It's entirely up to you. And you've got that capability with all of these, even the little idly billy one. Now, this is brand new today. Now, that what I was also thinking is, um, you know on cushions, you sometimes get the cord that goes around. Well, there's no reason why you can't now make your own and encase it in your favorite fabric. So you could get a little piece of cord you could, you, could, you could do this, thread the cord through, and then that would make it very easy to sew in. So £7.49. KWGQ01. Or look, you've got your Celtic knots there, your raised Celtic knots, because then you can just easily thread your cord through. All these little things that would be really tricky to do otherwise. Let me pop those back there. So they are also brand new today. Now... Let's have a recap of some of the fabrics that we've brought you at 8 o'clock because these were incredibly popular at 8 o'clock. So let's very quickly recap these boxes. We've already had a sellout here this morning. Here's your blue. This is your midnight. Now these are all, this is midnight ocean actually, it sounds fabulous. These are all art gallery fabrics. And this is your colour master range. So that means that you're getting 10 fat quarters beautifully displayed so beautifully displayed in a box. Now these are all 100% Pima cotton. That's a different um, type of cotton plant to your normal cotton. It has incredibly long strands, which means that you can get a much finer, tighter weave, which means that your print quality is going to be superior. It means that it feels amazing. It means that your fabric lasts longer because there's more thread going in there. Um, the closest thing that you might recognize otherwise is Egyptian cotton. You know, when you have a really high thread count in your Egyptian cotton. So 39.99 there for the blue. Now, the violet was incredibly popular earlier and goes beautifully with the blue. So that's how it's going to arrive to you. So if you'd like your violet, uh, vi vibrant violet. <laughs> I'll get that the right way around. I can't say it, I can't put my teeth in. There you go. Oh, we love the birds on this one, don't we? The birds are really beautiful. But there were lots of lovely fabrics in this collection. And again, lots of different tones that you can play with, different sizes of patterns in there. It's really well thought out. But the overwhelming thing that you will realise when you get your fabric home and you actually open up the box and get it out is that the quality of the fabric, the feel of the fabric, um, the fine feel of the fabric, and yet the fact that it's so durable because it's that Pima cotton, is just exquisite. Lots of these in baskets. Please check out. Just wanted to be able to give you some updates on these um, or show them for the first time if anybody missed these because some of these were brand new. Four of these were brand new this morning. This is the pink one. Was this the most popular in the end? Hey, lovely. 
So again, 10 in here. La la. It's beautiful, just so beautiful. And such a variety, such a range, because you've got so many different designers contributing to this as well. So I don't know if you sometimes look at your stash and go, oh, can I mix that designer with that? Is that okay to do? Art Gallery Fabrics say, yay, do it, and give you superb quality at the same time. There it is. And I have got um, the fresh water. Oh, love this one. I guess fresh water is another way of saying aqua, isn't it? Look at that. Whoa. It's so pretty. This has got the bunny rabbits in. This is the one with the bunnies. Look at the bunnies. So again, 10 beautiful fat quarters, incredible quality, 100% Pima cotton. Lots of new buyers coming in for these today. Congratulations, but please do check out your baskets. If you've ever tried to get a hold of art gallery fabrics, sometimes they can be quite tricky to do so, or you really get stung on postage because you're trying to get it in from the States. Don't get stung, get it from us. Our postage is just $2.95 per day. This is the teal. Yes. And it's called Teal Thoughts. Teal Thoughts. I think it's just called Thoughts up in, in your desk there, which is whoop. There we go. Oh, have you got it? You found it. Rummaging around, he's found it there. So, $39.99. Again, a beautiful collection, and you're going to be able to mix through if you get this one. Well, they all mix through a treat because you've got your, your blues in there, but you've also got your pinks through in here as well. I want to open up the leaf one in here because we didn't open up the leaf earlier, and then I saw it as I was packing it away going, oh, you see, very, very simple. Two colours, but how beautiful is that? $39.99 for your Colour Master Fat Quarter Collection set. This is in your teal thoughts. But you see, I think, if I just um, hold this here, so this one here is your water one. I am mixing and matching because I just think that it just gives you deeper tones. And how beautifully, actually, if you were going for two, how beautifully they would work. But you could also mix the pinks through as well. So if I pop that back in the packet. I was getting so good at folding these earlier. See if I can still manage it. There we go. There we are. Pop that in there and show that there. So I think if, we, if we're having a quick look there, then if you were going for, I think those two together, really pretty special. Beautiful. Now, uh, let's have a look at, this one is next. This is Life is Pink. And here are your pinks. Have we done the pinks? There are, oh, these reds. Oh, sorry. I just wanted a, an excuse to get these out again. Right, let's have a look at, we've done the pink, sorry. Right. Uh, the dark one, I've got two of these. So in each of these uh, collections, you are going to get 10 fat quarters and a mixture of your neutrals, your creams, and your reds, and your dark reds, your classic reds in here. You've got a variety of patterns, but they're all fat quarters, all 100% cotton. Lovely weights to work with. Great quality. These have been so incredibly popular. And it's $39.99. DCRW76. Maybe you want a lighter red, or maybe you want to work through the both. It's entirely up to you. But if you're going for the lighter reds, here they are. And that's $39.99. KJRW68. And this is for your lighter red, but still cream. And some of those neutral creams 
are the same. You'll find them in both of the packs. Lovely. Let's come over here. See what we've got over here. Have you got your bunting yet? Have you got your bunting? Yes, yes. So if you'd like your bunting and you get 16 whoop, 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 of those, lovely. Uh, and then it's up to you how far you want it to stretch by just how far you space them. So which one have we got? The blue one first. Here we go. We've got a message as well, have we? Oh, it's not come through yet. Now you've got a 60 centimetre panel here with the bunting. Oh, Claire says, uh, he is right, lol. I sail and I've never met anyone else that knew that. Well done, Paul, says Claire from Solihull. Oh, don't encourage him. Claire, don't encourage him. We'll never get his head out of the studio. <laughs> In this, well, none of us knew, to be fair. So, you know, Claire, you live in the most landlocked area of the country and you sail. I always, that, yeah. Apart from you, Paul, none of us knew apart from you. My word. It's going to be impossible, isn't he? Now, uh, here we go. This is your metre of your denim. And then, so, whoop. Helps if I actually get it around the right way, doesn't it? So you'll have this. And if I just show you, so you get a full meter of this. So by the time, if you do this Haley's way, I don't know which design it was or which book she got it out of, where you put it right sides together and sew round. But I'll put it the right way up. Oh, was it in the Debbie Shaw bunting book, was it? Um, here we go. You get your 60 centimetre panel with your Union Jack, Union flag. Sorry, Claire. Sorry, Paul. Um, and then you get your 40 centimetres left over from your metre to do all of your binding. So the beauty is if you've put this right sides together and you've sewn round and cut out, then don't sew. Just sew the pointy bits. Don't sew the top bits because then you can just fold those over and put your bunting over the top and then just sew along in a one. And so that is your blue option. And of course, you get your thread as well. This has been incredibly popular today because this is going to be great quality bunting that lasts and lasts and lasts that you bring out and bring out and bring out. I bet we've got multi buys on this as well, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe one buy uh, one of the blues, one of the reds. It's up to you. Uh, let me get the other option out. And then we'll recap those beautiful new fabrics. OK, so that's your blue. And again, with the red, it's going to be a metre of fabric. I've only got a half metre there to show you, but you will get a metre of it. Chris, could you possibly turn the air con off, please? It's a bit warm. Thanks. And there we go. So that's how the red is going to look. And there's your red thread. This is our um, linear red. Looking lovely because you've got all these different textured reds through here. They're, they're, they're all, they've all got different patterns in. So it's ever so pretty. We've even given you the thread. That's how nice we are. And that's 1849 GYXC57 is your code. There you go. So whichever one you're going for, Check out those baskets. Now, we've got brand new fabric. Let's have another look at them, at these brand new fabrics. These are incredibly pretty. Now, we did sort of whiz through these a little bit earlier. Um, these are from a, an American designer called Natalie Milan. She is um, an illustrator as well, does lots of magazine illustrations, things like that. She's also um, a, a very well-known, uh, well-respected paper crafter as well. And through here, you've got that delicate um, watercolour finish within here. So incredibly pretty, incredibly feminine. Let me just move my bump off the way and so you can actually see. Right, let's have a look. So the first one I'm going to show you here, these are all 100% cotton. They are all 44 inches salvage to salvage and very beautifully woven cotton, incredibly soft to the touch. 
very delicate, very pretty. You see, and so many opportunities to get some planes and pull out yellows and greens and pinks and teals. Really, really stunning. Now, I'm going to put that there because I want to show you um, how some of these play together. So, and this is the blue version. And again, 44 inches salvage to salvage, 100 percent cotton. Isn't that pretty? I love the blue and the soft yellow. And this is your delphinium brushed bouquet. And again, 7.95 uh, per half a meter. And remember, you decide how much you want. So maybe you want that for um, for your ba 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 uh, tablecloth. Maybe you want it for your quilting. Maybe you want it to do little girls' dresses. I don't know. It's up to you. Now, if you're sticking with the pink colorways, then this is a very very beautiful one to pop in. This is. This is your peony peacock. Isn't it just, uh, it just, just gorgeous. Oh, Elizabeth and Ken says, hi Natasha, came in too late to hear what Paul knew, what no one else did. Oh, Elizabeth, so many things. Uh, please put me out of my misery. <laughs> what wasn't it, said Elizabeth. Well, one of the many things that Paul knows that nobody else knows, um, or uh, no, uh, no, I, I correct, um, Paul and Claire and Solly Hull knew, is that a Union Jack, because we were talking about the bunting, uh, the Union Jack is only a Union Jack when it's on um, a, a naval ship, uh, a Royal Naval ship. Otherwise, it's just a Union flag, and we get it wrong all the time, apart from Paul and, and Claire, who know these things. But look, you see, aren't they pretty? Oh, <laughs> producer Paul says, however, he is very handy to have on a pub quiz. Oh, if I did, oh, I'm dreadful at pub quizzes. It's my husband that's good at pub quizzes. He won eggheads. Right, let's have a look at this. There we are, 7.95 per half a metre. And again, this is the blue version. So it's sort of got two colorways in this, really. And then you've got your two blenders, which are coming up next. So see, if I just pop that there with, with the other blue, then you can see how you've got some beautiful colors that you can, you can work with there. Lovely. And then, and then, and then, uh, let's have a look at the green one. Now, this will work with, with either ones. If you're going pinks or if you're going blues, the green will work through and blend through with both. Or if you just want some of this for your stash because it is a beautiful blender, then 7 95 gives you that. And I'm going to pop that. Actually, I'm going to pop these across the middle here. And then if you want the blues and the greys, then again, these colours we see throughout this collection as well. So $7.95 for that as well. WCRW10. And if I can just show very quickly those across there, you can see that if you wanted to, then you've effectively got, you've got your two different pinks there, your two different blues there. You've got this bluey gray that works equally beautifully there and equally beautifully picking up those colors. You've got your green one there which works in each of those. Now, show them in there. I've got some cross stitch for you as well. So keeping it with the London, it's kind of a show of two halves. So keeping it with that London theme, here we go. Which one would you like to look at first? The one with the gherkin on it first. No, I mean, I know I've had some cravings, but... This one here, your code is ZMDX42. If you fancy cross-stitching a bit of London, then here we go. This is going to end up being 7 inches by 5 inches. 
Should we open it up and have a look inside? But you can't see all the threads, and you get all the threads. You see what I mean? I want to see. I want to see everything. I want to see everything that I'm getting. Now, you will get, and so I won't have to open up each of these, but there are your, your strands there. There we are. And then you get the color map. And then you also get your chart. get your needle and here it all is there you go that's everything that you're getting fabulous so uh, a great way to do your cross stitch with that Beep, 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 beep. it is a nice little decoration or you know a little front to a cushion or anything like that let's have a look uh, maybe you've got someone who um, is coming to stay with you or going to stay with someone in another country and you want to take something with you that is quintessentially British, then here is your uh, sightseeing bus going past all those sites. Now this is going to be approximately six by six inches. Now I should have said, my mistake, these are on 14 count Ada for you as well. The umbrella is so big because you need it a lot. Director Tim. And you see, you've even got your bunting on there. Oh, here we go. Another producible fact. Real name of Big Ben, what? The Elizabeth Tower. How did it go from Elizabeth to Big Ben? The big... Oh, the bell's actually called the Great Bell. And it's housed within the Elizabeth Tower. But that's too complicated for everyone, so we just call it Big Ben. That's easier, isn't it? There we go. Have you ever thought of a sightseeing um, bus talky talky person uh, career there, Paul? You could tell them all of this. It's got all the knowledge. Well, you see, if you're going past Big Ben, you're not too far away, are you, from, um, from the naval ship that you've got, and then you can give them your, your Union Jack fact. Which, which naval ship is it? Come on. It is HMS Belfast. Oh. Okay, so $29.99 for your London bus, which it hasn't got anything to do with shit. Oh, but look what you've got in the windows. You've got beef eaters in the window. It's not actually the queen. It's, it's just her, at least said helmet, her crown, as it's otherwise known. Oh, no, she's actually on the bus. Oh, no, you're right. There she is. Do you think she's ever been on a bus? There's the Union flag. Do you reckon the Queen's ever been on a bus? You've got your bowler hats. There she is. Which are the ones with the big bear, bear skin hats on? What are they called? Because you can't make them laugh. You're not allowed to make them laugh, are you? Even though everybody tries. Do they get... No, they're not allowed to laugh. You've even got a pigeon in one of the windows. And the Queen's crown, as opposed to her helmet. These are great, I like these. They are just the Queen's guard, aren't they? Hey, hey, look at this. This has got a bit of everything. It's got your gherkin. Big Ben. Queen Elizabeth Tower, whatever you want to call it. Quite a lot of pigeons going on in this one. Oh, you've got the, you've got the wheel as well, the big wheel. The eye. Aye, aye. Uh, London, is that London Bridge or Tower Bridge? Tower Bridge. Oh, producer Paul, that's it. We can't have you as a, as a tour guide. A pigeon on the umbrella. What, hang on, is this... I've got a car and a bus. Oh, look down here. Oh, yeah, because you've got, you've got half of it covered up by a... Oh, you've got a taxi, a bus, more of the Royal Guard, a bowler hat. Does anybody ever wear bowler hats anymore? 
I could see you in a bowler hat, actually, Producer Bob. I could imagine that. There we go. $29.99. Great keepsake. Go to Windsor, it's all over the place. Now, um, other bits and bobs. Uh, silicon finger grips. How many times have you scorched your fingers on the iron? I've got finger grips in varying sizes. So that you can, you can do your pressing. I've got it in the wrong hand, haven't I? Okay, say I'm left-handed. You can, or may, maybe you're doing your own um, bias binding or something that you can really, you can really get, get in with the iron and you're not going to hurt your fingers. Or the number of times that I pick something up too fast, still too hot. But if you've got your silicon finger grips and you get three different sizes in there. Actually, it goes on my little finger nicely, that one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Then um, these were actually... It's uh, Jennifer Taylor, isn't it, really loves these. And also, because they're, they're grippy, they do really grip the fabric. They help hold it all in place. 4 49 it's one of those little things you didn't know you needed until you needed it. Now, next, I've got your bias binder maker. So if you do not have a bias binder maker in your life, but you want to do your bunting, and actually you can't be bothered to, uh, to, to do all that folding yourself, get yourself a bias binder maker. 11.99, this is 25 mil, so you would cut this to 50 mil, because then when you fold it through there, you pop it in there, feed it through, you've even got a channel to put your pin in and draw that fabric through, and then when it comes out all beautifully folded, half and half for your bias binding, that is 25 mil, and as you press it, move, press, move, press, and, uh, and then, if you just fold it in half again, that will give you 12 mil binding. There we go. Now, next up, I have got now fabric grips. If you have any cutting rulers that slip, you can, you can easily solve that with these little fabric grips. They're 199, you get 18 fabric grips in them. And, and we've used these on rulers that you know don't have that aren't sort of creative grids with your non-slip grip. And it, well, you can see there you go, I've nicked four. For, for a ruler that I was, I was playing with the other day. Um, and they just peel out, peel out there, and then they just stick on. She's not managing to actually get them to peel out. Peel off, stick on, uh, and off you go. And it just gives that little bit of extra security because you want that safety when you're cutting. Uh, now, let's have a look. What else have we got? Oh, the magnetic clasps. Not. Let's have a look at this one then. Uh, this is your turning clasp. Oh, well, I haven't seen this before. These are one of those things that you always um, wish that you could have, but you're never quite sure where to get a hold of it. So here it is. This is your turning clasp, and it's your silver-coloured turn clasp. It's just two ninety nine, and there it is. Okay, and then I've got here. What? Brand new today? This is your cotton tape. There you go, 20 mil cotton tape. So whether you're going to bind with this, edge with it, but it's just a great have in your stash. Cotton tape, CDGQ 96, just 199 for your white cotton tape. Three meters in there for just 199. One thing that was new, oh, the loop, oh, the kit. Have you got it? Okay, within it, you are going to get um, a folding cutting mat, which is fab, in a beautiful blue colour. I love that blue. You also get a set of glass-headed pins. You get quilting needles uh, that you can use in your machine. You also get hand-stitching quilting needles, because you might have some of these things, but they're not for quilting, so they're just not going to be quite up to the job. You get your seam ripper. You also get your marker pen. You also get your ruler. Still only paying one PP for all of these. So all things designed specifically for quilting. So there's no compromise here. It's all absolutely perfect. Perfect. And that's $62.99. And that could be you starting out your new hobby. Lovely. 
Now, uh, producer Paul has been working away trying to bring you just bunting by itself, union flag bunting. So if you want the panel or if you just want an extra panel, then here it is. So a 60 centimetre panel, you've got, did I say it was 16, wasn't it? Uh, 16 bunting pieces and it's 6.99 KXMY47. Very, very limited because most of these went into our, um, into our kits. But 16.99 KXMY47, we're good to go. Now after the break, Victoria Peters back. She's gonna, she's gonna bring in her own seat. I don't blame you. Could do with a little sit down today. Um, so we've got ways in which you can measure your own chairs so you can create your own covers, which is fabulous. And also we've got door decor kits. It is a jam packed show. Oodles on there for you, um, but a great way to get your beautiful fabrics out so that you can decorate your home and have it looking absolutely superb, ready for summer. So join us after this quick break and uh, Victoria Pete will be showing us her know-how. Just a minute. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Join us on Thursday the 3rd of May when Jess Entwistle is here with an hour of playroom delights for the little ones. Jess will be sharing her tips for making a hanging play tent with ideas guaranteed to capture those little imaginations. We also have a coordinating drawstring play mat which makes playtime fun and tidying away toys a breeze. Jess will also be showing us how the mat is made so all you have to do is decide which of our handy kits to choose. So start your day with an hour of fun and games Thursday, the 3rd of May, 8 a.m., only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Join us on Saturday, the 5th of May, when we are once again joined by the talented, creative and utterly delightful Mandy Shaw. Mandy will be here in the studio with a delicious array of sweet treat kits and patterns, including an adorable and oh-so-useful polka dot cupcake sewing kit. The Time for Tea wall hanging featuring an array of red work stitches is Vintage Mandy. Oh, and don't forget to say hello to Polly, the best dressed doll in town, complete with a wardrobe of adorable designs. So join us for a morning with Mandy Shaw featuring hearts, cupcakes and more at 8am and 10am on Saturday the 5th of May, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Join us on Thursday the 3rd of May when Lucy Brennan is back in the studio with a small but perfectly formed quilt design. This mini quilt by cool US designer Nicole Calva is a breeze to make and will look as good on your wall as it will in a cushion cover. Created for Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine, the design comes as a kit in three delicious colourways. Choose from fuzzy peaches, juicy purples and good for you greens. Lucy has all the know-how and is ready to show us how it's done, including clever tips for making half-square triangles. So tune in for an hour of mini quilt greatness, Thursday the 3rd of May at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Hello Jewelry Makers, please join us on the 4th of May. We've got eight days of fantastic deals. We've got amazing DVDs, we've got fantastic kits and unbelievable jewellery deals. So please join us the 4th of May for eight fantastic days here at Jewelry Maker. Love Patchwork and Quilting is the best-selling modern quilting magazine that shares your passion for fabric. We publish 13 times a year, featuring must-make projects, essential techniques, interviews, news and reviews from the world of modern quilting. Every issue comes with a free gift.
Hello, welcome back. Now, this hour is something a little bit different. We've not really done this very much before. Um, but, and we're, we're, we're still we'll getting everything for you to show you exactly what you can make. Um, we're going to show you how to cover a chair. Because a lot of us, you know, with upcycling and things like that happening, um, decorating your own chair is, is, is great. And to be able to do that and actually measure it. And I've put off doing this because of the measurements. But Victoria Pete is going to show us how to do our own chair covering today, which is great. Now also, what we've got for you are kits so that you can decorate your doors. Yes, oh yes. Now in that, I mean, so that you can have, a, and this is the clever thing with this, a weighted um, draft excluder. Love that fabric. A weighted draft excluder. We've also got, oh, uh, it's, Chris, it's under there. It fell off the table. And then we've also got a door stopper. And all the patterns and all the instructions in this kit. And then also, we've also, got, and this is the clever thing, the door muffler. Now, um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When producer Paul said that, he said, what is it? And he tried to put it on like an eye mask. We're like, no, it's not that. You hook it on either side of the door handle and it just stops it from, you know, when it does, makes that click when it shuts, it stops it from doing that. So if you've got little ones sleeping or anything like that, or it's nice and quiet, or if you've got a really reactive dog that barks every, uh, we've all seen them, haven't we, that barks every time a door shuts or opens. Handy, right? Really handy. So here they all are, looking good. Oh yeah. And here's the kit so that you can make this. Now, let's start. I've just shown you. So in here, you've got your foot. You've got all of that coming up. You've got three and a half meters. Full instructions. Sorry, but I'm having a few mic problems today. Um, full instructions and a whopping three and a half meters of fabric. Let's show you how that fabric is breaking down. So full instructions here. And, and then you've got, oh, are you moving on to the next one? I just want to show you, get your, this lovely, lovely faux, faux leather. This is how your three and a half meters breaks down. And then you've got your calico for inside your, um, inside your draft excluder. Now the other version is here. And what we've also got here, again, you get your pleather, your faux leather, half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, and a metre, and a metre of calico. So that's three and a half metres, one metre, one metre, half a metre, half a metre, which gives you a third metre, and a half a metre there. 32 99 Now, if you'd like to cover the chair, then we've got a lot of chair covering fabric for you here. And Victoria's going to show us, she's going to step, step by step, show us through how to cover and how to take the accurate measurements because otherwise it's a waste of fabric. So I'm going to be avidly watching this one. So 41.99, you're getting five meters of fabric here. So this is two meters of your um, upholstery weight fabric. This is your Malmo. Then you're also getting your linear if you want to do any edging or anything like that. And you're also getting two meters of calico in there as well. So this is a whopping great big bundle. That's five meters in total there, but lovely to be able to bring this heavier weight, weight, heavier weight fabric for you. And the last kit is, as you've seen the chair, then here it is. So a meter, of your linear, uh, two meters of your mal mal Malmo, go Malmo, and two meters 
of your calico as well. $41.99 and full instructions as well, which is just brilliant. Now, Victoria, I need to know about this. Need to know about this. Welcome cheers. back, by oh, the way, you. as well. Thanks, but I just I made it. a bit excited about this. Um, my husband has a habit of bringing home chairs as a little project for me. Oh, here yeah, you can just recover this. Yeah, 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 yeah. or upcycle or, mm -hmm. or do whatever. He has yeah. he has a habit of doing this. It's a regular occurrence. I'm on my second lot now, so that's... You're doing well. I have chairs in my garage that I haven't <laughs> done anything with that I was supposed to. So the latest collection <laughs> um, need covering. Right. So when this came up, I was like, yes. Perfect. Yes. Absolutely perfect. Uh, but I don't know where to start. Okay. Well, this is great for something like a kitchen table chair. So I've. It's exactly what it's for. Yeah, yes. I've got one that's the wooden wicker chair, and just to cover the base, um, the seat, um, and just gives you a really nice sense of, you know, togetherness with with all your chairs. It's a nice way to inject some colour as well, isn't it? Yeah, really Into nice. Because these prints are really bright, lovely, yeah, juicy prints. Yes. Do so like juicy prints. Juicy. Shoji. And they've just sort of got a geometric graphic feel to them. Quite modern. Um, yeah, they're a modern take. I sort of, they all, this one that we've used on the seat cover feels a little bit like a graphic yeah. version of another very well known print that yes. I'm aware of. But yes. it's, it's nice, it's nice and fresh. So it actually would work very nicely in my kitchen because we've got green tiles, oh, have you? grey curtains, and this would tie everything in. Yeah, they'd, the they'd all work really well together. Yeah, they're really lovely. lovely. So for the um, the instructions for the chair cover, we've got two sets of, like you said in the in the bundles, we've got two different sets of instructions. One is for the chair, and the other one is for the door stop and the draft excluder. Yeah. So we'll just have a quick chat about the chair. It comes with uh, a diagram as to roughly how you're going to lay out the pattern okay. for your chair. You need to take a couple of measurements. Well, it basically says measure the length and the width of the chair seat. Um, but but what my, if it's wider one end than the other? Yeah, that's how I've got with my chair. My chair goes out more at the front and tapers in. So I've taken a couple of measurements and um, this is how your pattern, the first draft of your pattern will look. Okay. So I've measured the front width here and this is for my chair 40 centimetres going across the front. Yeah. So what I've started off with is I've drawn a line in the middle of my piece of paper and we've just used the standard tracing paper that we sell. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I've drawn a line up the front. Then my front width is 40 centimetres, so I've drawn a line that goes 20 centimetres either side of the So you know that you're nice line. and central. So we okay. know that it's square and not going a bit skew if. The seat length itself, for me, is 35 centimetres. Okay. So I've then drawn a little line across here, mm -hmm. and then the back width is 31 centimetres. So again, I've split that in half and drawn either side. Okay, so the measurements that we've taken have been across... Across the back. This is very handy. <laughs> yeah, having this here. You need a laser so pointer. That is your 31 That's centimeters 31. across there. Yep. This is your 40, 40 centimeters across there. You've done down your center line Which so that you know where you can, and that itself from back to front is 35 centimeters. Correct. Very convenient. So you've drawn yourself a loose square that's the, the vague dimensions of your seat, the top of your seat. To each of those at the side, you've added on a skirt. Okay. The bit that goes down the side, which is 12 centimetres, down each side. And on top of that, you've added in a seam allowance of one centimetre. You only need your seam allowances on these corner pieces here. You don't need it along the bottom or along the very edges Should because we show it up those here? get. It's, yeah, it's the same up here. So you've got. Um, this, the skirt side here is 12 centimetres and you've got a skirt here. So these two are both 12 centimetres. And then on top of that, so this is the back corner of your pattern mm. and this is the back skirt and this is the side skirt. Mm -hmm. On here, you have like a little return because at the back, they overlap and you've got some Velcro and some self-covered buttons. Oh, to put them on? Yeah, when it's, yeah it attaches via Velcro, yes. but put some buttons on to make it look smart the finishing touches so you've got a seam allowance in here you don't have seam allowances on the ends of the skirts because those are just bound nice with bi straight binding yes not bias binding straight binding that's what your um your your linear fabric your linear textured fabric yes, is in there that for. will create that yeah. for you and you can you can see that there that's your bound edge along there oh look we can even see the back with the buttons and the velcro 
almost. But we'll turn it around. You'll see it in a minute. Okay. So, <clears throat> like I say, this is the first pass of your pattern. What you need to do is you need to make an allowance for the back strut on the chair and for this to wrap around the chair. It will make right. sense, I promise you. Okay. So what I've done... This is why I haven't done my chairs yet. That's why I haven't done your chairs yet. But you will. First okay. thing you do when you go home tonight. So what I've done is I've taken a smaller piece of pattern paper and I've traced off onto here with a dotted line. These are the... This is the top edges and the side edges of the seat. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut in and I've added on these returns and the seam allowances. I've just marked the seam allowances in a different coloured pencil, pen, whatever, just to give me a bit of a guide as to what's what. So I'm just going to cut into... Whoa, steady there. What are you doing? Well, this is why it's important to trace it off from the main pattern. Okay. So that it's not a big fat disaster if things go wrong. So I'm just cutting in a little okay, bit. Okay, you just chopping no, I away. I what I did do first though, is I've marked here six and a half centimetres. Can we go over to the chair? So you've got six and a half centimetres here. Let's I'm going to show you what... Coming up from the base there. Yes, that's coming up from the base of the skirt. Okay, let's go and have a look. Okay, then, so I'm going to bring a few bits and pieces with me. Go. Bring a different colour pencil. Okay, so we have the chair here. Mm -hmm. The front, can you see, is this going to work all right? So the, the front half of the chair is actually sewn together. So we had a one centimetre seam allowance mm -hmm. on those front edges and those get sewn together. Okay. On the back, and can I just move the chair around yeah. so that you can see the back of the chair? Oh, nice. So on here, this is where it's attached together with Velcro. Right. Oh, I'm with you. So, so that's what you need a little with Velcro. Bit. And then you put your buttons on just to make it nice. look smart. Yes. So this bit here is the smaller additional return that we've put on. Mm -hmm. um, and But what we need to do is we need to create this shape in here so that right. it wraps around the leg of the chair. Okay. Does so how are we going to just sit on it so I can have a look at it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then how do we do that? So um, you're going to have to move, I'm afraid. Because <laughs> I'm going to just take this off. You're going to take the whole thing off? I'm going to take that off. Oh, that's still attached. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll take this pattern piece. No, sorry, no such luck. Oh, no sitting no down. No such luck. I was promised a chair. I'll lean on it. There we go. Yeah, bad luck. So I've got these lines that I've drawn, mm. and I'm going to place this line along the edge of the chair and the other line along the back of the chair. So we just need to slide that along. And you'll see here, this is not quite cut in far enough. And this will depend on your chair as to... On the, on the width of the leg. Yeah how wide your leg is and how much you need to cut in. So just cut in just some little snips. Can I just show everybody, yep. hang on, where are we? So there's your, and she's just gone. Yeah, we've just snipped right in. crazy with her scissors and, all over yeah, the Yeah, do go crazy. Don't, don't actually cut anything off, just snip in. Okay. Snip in. So then from here, we can then, you can see here, now this line is going closer up onto where it should be, yep, on yep, the yep. edge here, and this is closer here. And then we can just try and wrap this round and turn the seat. We've got the seam allowances. I think I'll just cut this bit off here. And the aim is to get not the seam allowances lines matching, but the solid line inside that. So I'm going to, you can just see through the paper, the tape. And is that to leave enough so that you've then got a Velcro overlap? Yes, because the Velcro will go on the underside of the piece that's on this side. Right. And the other half of the loop will go on this side. Okay. So you're just trying to make sure and try and sort this out so it sits nicely underneath your chair. So that's not too bad. I would say this is possibly a little bit on the loose side. So we just lift this up and just pull it in a little bit. So I'm overlapping just a little bit more. Nice. So that sits nicely there, that sits nicely there. Yep. Yeah. So you would just then, and I'll use a different colour pen so that you can see what you're doing. And we're just going to bring that in on 
that overlap. I'm just trying to think. Oh, you know what? That's okay, actually. You're happy with that? Yeah, that's just about okay. So what we need to do is on the top of the seat, you need to mark and figure out how this curve is going to work. Right. So we're going to mark on here. Oh, where? Where your curve's going to go. Round. Okay, I'm with you. And yes. we'll neaten that up in a minute. We're going to turn the chair around again. Okay, and we'll come round. And I've marked here <clears throat> on the other pattern, you can see I'd marked up six and a half centimetres because you really want enough room to get both of your buttons in and the Velcro. So I'm just making sure that both pieces match. You don't want one piece to be smaller than the other. Okay. So it's going to go all the way round. Oh. This is fascinating. Okay. There you so from there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sound like a frog. <laughs> You're getting a bit croaky, so it'll get you a quick. Very croaky. So we'll just now take that paper off. So oh, possibly use a low tech tape. Yeah, I use <clears throat> the satin backed tape. So or from if you've there, got washi tape or anything like that. Yes, anything that doesn't stick too much. So we'll take this back over to the table and you can see my rough curve. Thank you. Okay. So from here, you can see scrawled lines. Looks like I've done that with my eyes closed. So <clears throat> if we see that, we've got the two six and a half centimeter marks. Let's go for another, is there another pen underneath here somewhere? Yes, let's go for green. So we want <clears throat> each of these parts here where the Velcro goes. So Velcro goes in here, goes in this section here. Yeah. Okay. So now you want to just sketch your curve and try and make it as smooth as you can. Okay. Just to even it out. So will you repeat this on the other leg or will you just tra transfer it? Um, I think what I would do is, or what I did do, is I just made sure that this was right so okay. that this worked. So what I did with my sample is that I then traced that back off onto a new piece of paper and then I added my seam allowances on and so that I could then put that round the chair again just to sense check, does that work? And then flip it over and put it on the other leg okay. just to make sure. And then from there, I would use that to transfer onto the pattern piece. Yep. Transfer it back across and then cut from calico. Okay. And then cut it from calico. So I can show you on this one here. So this is lined in calico. Look, there we go. Yes, there's no sense in using your print on the inside. No, no, it's absolutely. Never going, to, never going to be seen. And okay, um, I, have, I have a small child and a smaller one on the way. Uh, so would you pre-wash these fabrics because they're going to go through the wash? Yes, yeah, I would pre-wash these. Yeah, but they're a good hardy fabric, mm. which, which is good for yeah, kitchenware. Yeah, And just gorgeous colours. This is going to work beautifully. So this is the one that I used for the sample that I made. Right. So you can see here I redid... I redid the pattern and I added in... So I've I got to this point here where we've checked up, well, we've, just we've done, done our just curve, done. Yep. and then I put it on and I added a Add one in. centimetre seam allowance onto that. Okay. And then I snipped into and up to only that line. Okay. So that then I could fold that under nicely, and then you can put that up against your chair. And double check. And double then you check can double check. Works. Do that on the opposite side as well. Yep. So you've got both sides done, and then you can check against your chair whether so we've that got it works. on both sides there you go you can see both sides both legs there and then you can put that up and just check make sure it works Fabulous. and you can do it in the calico as well if you wanted to do a proper toile just to make sure that it fits properly because it is tricky around the leg just to try and get it smooth and you might find that the curve goes a little bit too low or a little bit to too you, high a bit yeah. tight um, but don't get too anxious about it just you're never going to look at the back of it again. As long as it sits smoothly on the front edge, I think round the back, if your curve's a bit low, I think it's going to be okay. It's all right. It's, it's all okay. right. Yeah. There's no chair police. 
No You're going to be all right. No. Oh, and actually, you've got you've got the lovely buttons and that lovely finish on there on the back anyway. So when they are all tucked in under the table, you're just going to see. You're just going to appreciate that yeah. detailing it's on gonna there. It's going to look really smart. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Really and depending nice. on your chair, I mean, mine was six and a half centimeters, but yours might be a bit deeper. Yes. Because of the the structure of your chair, so you might be able to fit three buttons in. Ooh. Which would be nice. Nice. Very nice. It looks really smart, and it's not difficult to construct because these, these edges are open. The edges that you're binding are left open. So the places that you're sewing are actually only these two front edge seams mm -hmm. along the front, and then these, these here, where you're sewing from the edge, round the curve, round the curve, and then over this side. Right, and that will be with your fabric pieces together. Yeah, with right sides, right sides together. together. And yeah. just trim it in and give it a good press. But then all of this, because you're going to bind this, you will have raw edges there. Yep. So actually, the most difficult bit of this is making the pattern. Is just getting that corner bit done. The rest of it, super simple. Really easy. Really simple. What was I worried about? Super simple. So you need it's bank holiday paper. tracing paper, oh, yep. paper scissors, a pencil, some satin tape, washi tape, something like that, mm -hmm. tape measure. I found it <clears throat> really useful to have the 24-inch um, quilting ruler, but you could use if you have a standard sewing ruler, because not all, seem, uh, all dressmakers have got quilting rulers. No, no, no. But no, you no, do no, need no. a long ruler and something with marks on it to make sure that you get those right angles, because yes. it would be very easy to make one that's slightly skew if. And we and, do. Yeah, which won't work. One, it'll look funny, and it'll look funny because the pattern is quite a linear graphic. Okay. Geometric type pattern. So we've got our pattern. We cut out. Do you make a twirl if you want to? Yes. Um, otherwise, just go for Wing it. Wing it and go for it. And you're good to go. This yeah. is excellent. Yeah, so it's okay. actually quite a good, nice project. And when it's finished, the amount of compliments I had on that was incredible. Really? Yeah, everyone that came round was. Wow, that's really nice. That's really lovely. And I'm thinking... It smartens mm. things up, you it know, does. because we looked at... The, the reason my husband keeps bringing home these chairs for me to upcycle <laughs> is because we've looked at the price of brand new chairs. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, you know, yeah. like you thought, two small children, Yeah. they're going to get trashed. Yeah, they do get trashed. And it's nice, I think, as well, sometimes when you can update your colour schemes. Yes. You might have your painted walls and your curtains and whatever, but actually if you can change cushions or seat covers yes. at different times of year. It's an inexpensive oh, You way. can make Christmas <gasps> ones. Easter ones, Christmas oh. ones, birthday ones. A birthday chair. Oh, and you can have it appliqued with happy birthday. At Freddie's school, they have a, they, they have a um, king or queen for the day on their birthday. Oh, do they? That's yeah. really sweet. Which is our Hayley in our office today. It's her, uh, she's got a big one. Um, birthday. 21. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 21 and a <clears throat> couple Bit. more. Yeah. So happy birthday, Haley. There's cake and everything in the office. <gasps> I know. I've missed the I cake. Uh, yeah, no, well, yeah, it has nearly gone producer Paul. Sounds like my lunch. Yeah, absolutely. You might get a cupcake if you're lucky producer Paul, but they're an <laughs> hungry bunch out there. Uh, so happy birthday, Haley, is what we'd like to say. Yeah, right? happy birthday. Yay. Hey. So we could make her a birthday chair. A birthday chair for the office. Yes. Get on it. Hurrah. <laughs> okay, now then. Okay. Uh, are we going to make any of this or are we going to no. move on to the next bit? Because we've got <clears throat> no, a lot of No, I thought we'd in. make our, we'd look at the doorstop construction. Let's do it. And we can talk about the draft excluder as well if you like. Yes. But we'll start with the doorstop. Yes. Let's go. Right. Uh, no, we've got, let me show you, in my, in my basket of goodies, what we've got. Actually, can that all come back? Yeah, it's just going to go straight on the floor. Whoosh. Look, what, <laughs> just like at home. <laughs> what are you saying about my home? Uh, in my home. <laughs> Deal with that later. <laughs> These are brand new today. These are recycled pellets. Great for weighting down things. Well, you, I mean, you've done a weighted um, draft excluder, which is perfect. Yeah. I've never thought of weighting it down, but actually makes so yeah. much sense. Well, it depends how drafty your house is. Pretty draft. Pretty draft. <laughs> I'd say daylight through mine. Uh, but also for your doorstop at <clears throat> As well, it's, it's sort of like the size of a bag of sugar, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think it's a kilogram. Is it a kilogram? It's a kilo, yeah. So five oh, yes. ninety nine, <laughs> and uh, and recycled as well. So you know, we're doing our bit. This isn't plastic that's going into the ocean. This is nope. this is going to sit in our doorstoppers. Sit in your doorstop. And the thing about these is that although they're already recycled, if you then, uh, like you say, you change your decor or anything else, or it yep. gets too muddy, or da -da -da -da, you change it, just take these out. Yeah. Wash them. 
Ooh. And you can use them again. Oh, well, that's clever. You know, and you don't have to wash them if they've got Very you clever. know dirty or whatever. But you can so you can just keep using these. Mm. Very good. And they're much better than something like rice. Because a lot of people use rice to fill doorstops. I did in my unenlightened years. Mm. Well, they get they can get wet and draw in moisture and they can attract the animals. Attract the I didn't know. Mm. That's what it said in my book that I got my pattern from. Yeah. So That's I, because they hadn't, they they hadn't didn't found have these. these. Back in the day. Yeah. Now, these are the way. They are. So for the doorstop, yes. I've used these <clears throat> and I've put them inside an inner bag. Right. Because I think that gives your doorstop a bit more structure and allows you to wash the doorstop. Yes. Because they do get grubby because they sit on the floor and they get kicked around and moved. I mean, I mean, my floors are immaculate. I don't know about yours, oh, yeah, but, you know, with fine. three dogs and a child that refuses to take up his wellies, or oh. husband, actually, is the oh. worst offender. Yeah, well. Uh, Freddie's actually very good about taking his wellies off. <laughs> uh, or he gets the blame for everything. Um, oh. Yeah. Needs, <laughs> needs a bit of that. So... The ability to wash without yes. lots of little things going everywhere and it was and it just means that um by having them in an sealed in a bag you're not going to get little ones leaking out here there and yes. everywhere yes yes sometimes you get that with bean bags don't you all over my house all over the place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the door You've stop been in my house. <laughs> i think we have similar houses yes right so the door stop <clears throat> is made with uh, four pieces. You've got two side pieces and two longer pieces that create the gusset. Okay. Effectively, if you're into bag making, it's like a gusset that goes around the outside. Okay. And <clears throat> the doorstop has a nice handy loop on the top okay. for moving it around. Partial nice. design feature, partial functional feature. Okay. So the handle is simply made by folding a rectangle along its length and just sewing up the sides, turning it through. Uh, now, in your kit, what you actually have for that is do, 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 your... Teal? Oh, no, hang on. There's no, that's the... the, that's the yeah, this is, this is the one that we've got. We've just got it in a different pattern way. Okay. Well, the sample I've made from this, this bundle that. here. Let me grab that so we can have a look at the samples. So in your kit, because you... Whoops. Oh. Here we go. This is, this is now the, uh, the kit that we're looking at here. So uh, we've got your weighted yeah. draft excluder. I love that. Yeah, I love, I love the weighted. Yeah, it. this is what we're making. And again, what we've put, we've put pleather in your kit so that you've got, you've got that. And actually... Yeah. And you can mix and match yeah. and move things around. If you wanted to do that, this is the genius item. We haven't got a door. We've never, we've, we don't have a door in the studio, do no. But if you could imagine that, just wrapped around, and it's a door muffler, yeah, so you don't get that click. Just to stop the slamming and the clicking. You are saying about dogs that hear yes. things. I had uh, our dog, she used to, because she's deaf now, but she used to hear when I picked up a specific coat. She could hear the clinking of the, of the zip. They know. They know. Um, uh, but I think this is also brilliant. I say for slamming, I hate doors slamming. Hate it. Yeah, so that will gentle, make it more gentle. Yes. And no, I think this is great. And, and also because I worry about little fingers. Oh, yes. So if yeah, you've got one of these, it's another thing that means that they just, they can't slam things. Hadn't mm -hmm. thought about that, but that's great. Yeah. Um, Christine in Casino says, hi, Victoria and Natasha. Can I just say, Hello. Victoria, you are awesome. Oh, thank you. Not that's feeling awesome. That's <laughs> Well, I mean, that well, that's really sweet. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Thanks for superb demo, says Christine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make these fabrics um, really clear as to which, which fabrics you've got in which kit. Um, I'm going to get you a drink. <laughs> I'll stop croaking. I'll have a quick cough. And we'll be back in a minute. There we go. We shall regroup in just one moment. Here we go. So we've, we've talked about the pellets. Um, they are recycled pellets so we're doing our bit for the environment that kilo of plastic pellets can go in your door stopper loads of you have got multi buyers on this as well uh, this is 5.99 and so you can pop these in your baskets and then you've got them pop them in your your um, draft excluder in your um, door stopper and you're good to go for 5.99 fabulous still the same pmp but that's a kilo kilo in there good stuff now um, the one that Victoria made her samples out of has this lovely ochre pleather. Fab, isn't it? 
So you get half a metre of that, half a metre of this. Now these, this one, this one, and this one, and you get a metre here, half a metre, half a metre. Uh, these are all um, heavier weight fabrics, so they're perfect for your decor. So they're going to be harder wearing, they're a thicker fabric, fabulous. And then you're also going to get a metre here of your calico in there. So that is three and a half metres of fabric, plus your full instructions. Brilliant. So that's one option. Now, if you want to go for the grey version, then in that you get um, half a metre of your grey pleather. And then a half a metre, you get half a metre, you're getting a metre, and then you are also getting a metre of your um, calico in there as well for $32.99. Now, if you want the chair covers, the set, the set that I've just shown you, this is the same colourways in here, but just a different design. So two metres, two metres, and again, that is your, uh, that is your um, upholstery weight, metre of your calico, uh, and then two metres of your calico rather, and then a metre of your binding fabric there, and that there as your full instructions. And that does give you full instructions as to how to make your own pattern as well. Look, can I just show you in here how detailed that is? So step by step, just up here, so Victoria's gone into all of that detail to show you exactly how to make everything we've just shown you on air. Okay. Now, the last option, which again, this goes with, if I just show you, look, that goes with that sort of colourway. If you want, if you were, you know, doing your door, your kitchen door and your kitchen um, chairs, then we've got. Again, two metres of calico, two metres of your upholstery weight fabric and a metre of your binding fabric there, which is in your linear and your full instructions. 41, 41 99 Excellent. And these are good fabrics for um, home decor, but they're also great for bags. I use these a lot. Mm. Um, Freyettes, I think, is the company. Yes, that's them. And, and I, I've used their fabrics for a long time yeah. for home decor, upholstery, all those curtains. sorts of things. Yeah, my Super. curtains are Freyettes. My, my dining room chairs have been upholstered in those, oh, the yeah. original ones. Um, uh, again, uh, all sorts. Yeah, really good Brilliant. quality fabrics. Yes. They're lovely. Okay, so the doorstop? Yes. Right. Let's door stop. So the door stop, first of all, you create the gusset that goes around the outside. So the part here that has the zip attached on the bottom. Yep. And then it wraps around. You've got the loop attached between two pieces on the side and it goes back around to the zip. So okay. you've got the gusset that goes around the outside and two smaller side pieces. Okay. Cool. So the gusset itself. It's a satisfying it is thump, a, isn't it? It's yes. a good ball. It's very good. So what this allows you, this, the way that I've designed this pattern and the way that I've put the loop in the top allows you to use directional fabric. Brilliant. Just make sure that you do attach your zip the right way up. Although this, this fabric is good because it's multi-directional. Yeah. You can that do that works. either way. There's your zip in the bottom. So, so nobody ever need know it was there. Inside is your calico fill Ta -da! filled with your beanies. Can I give my top tip for this? Go on. Pop your calico bag in empty. <laughs> and then. And then fill and then hand stitch up. Yeah. Or you're going to wrestle. Actually, though, wrestle. it is a bit of a wrestle, but I've made the bag a little bit bigger ah. so that it's easier to get it in because I did wrestle for a long yeah, time. Yeah, I used to do it with bean bags when I made yeah. bean bags. Yeah. Never again. Yeah. Did it the first time. And a funnel yeah. with a wide mouth. Yes. Or a bit of paper rolled yes. up to get yes. it in. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut out the fabric and just to add confusion into the world, because I've used a different fabric for my demo than is in the bundles. But when you're cutting out your fabric, try and be mindful of how you're cutting. Um, and I've made sure that my stripes have gone, that sort of the, the stem, if you like, is going up the middle of the pattern piece. And I did the same thing on, on this as well. I just made sure that that sat quite nicely up the middle of the pattern piece. Yes. So it just looks nice. Now the details on your screen are for this bundle here, $34.99. Um, and then we've got, oh, there we go, that's the bundle there. And then you've got your chair details down the bottom. Okay. 
Right, um, what I'm going to do is actually, if Chris is around, I could do with a zipper foot, because the zipper foot's disappeared. It was here, we lost it, we threw it on the floor, and... Did we throw it on the floor? Well, by accident, when oh, we were moving the machine. Okay, so, so we need if, a zipper foot. If Chris has a zipper foot, that would be handy. So what I've got is, you've got to think about how the pattern will sit when it's made into the gusset shape. Yes. Does that make sense? So you've got to get your pattern pieces facing out this way. We're going to deal with this one first and we're going to flip it over so that the raw edge of your pattern, your fabric, is matching up with the raw edge of the zipper tape. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chris. And either pin or clip that in place. And we're just going to sew that on quickly. With our newly found zipper foot. With the zipper foot that's magically hey, appeared. He's on it, isn't he, today, he's Chris? He's on it. Yeah. Right. That goes on this side. Move that so we so can this see. in place. Uh, the third of the stock of well, this one, of the pellet, of oh, the pellets has gone. Well done if you've got hold of the pellets. Oh, and it's not actually plugged in. I'm thinking, why is it not working? Ah, you see the the joy of electricity. I know. We never really Is it on? Not working. How are we doing? Is it? Well, in, in. Ah, in. turn it on, let's plug it in and turn it on. And actually Yay. turn it on. We're there, excellent. <laughs> and, and plug in your and foot pedal. plug in the foot pedal. Yay. Look at that. Amazing. Sewing 101, all the things to check. Yes, if, if you are unable to sew, check that you have power. <laughs> it happens. It does indeed. Okay, so you can just sew. Are you going to forward and back? I would, anything? ordinarily, go okay. forwards and back, but I'll not do that. So then you fold it back over on itself. You can give that a press, ideally with an iron, but let's just finger press that. And then you can top stitch that on in place. Okay. Uh, now, you have not done any jiggery pokery with your zip to get the bit out of the way, is that? No, because I've used a longer, longer zip, zip that okay. we can trim down. That's perfect. Which is absolutely fine. Okay, I, I prefer Let's, that. Yes, I'm and it makes it easier. Yes. I'll just move the zip over to the other side. And what you can do here, if you like, is you can use a contrasting thread. Oh, very swanky. Which will look very smart. Although it's on the underside, so... If yeah, it, yeah. You know, this for me is a great project to get your uh, confidence up with zips, because it's really easy to install. And also, um, you know, nice... Are we all caught? Yeah, all caught. Um, it also means that um, if you do go a bit wonky with your zip, you're not going to see it because it's going to be underneath. Yeah, so it's, it's not it's, so bad. It's, it's a great way to start off if you're... Because I know there are people out there that are a little bit nervous about zips. So this is a great way to start it off. So you do one side and then you're going to top stitch over the top. Now what that also does is stop your teeth getting caught in the fabric. Which can happen so easily. Absolutely it can. But you see Victoria's left there, ample either end, because we're going to cut this back. Yeah, we'll trim that back off at a later stage. Don't do it until it's much later in the process. Okay. I'm okay. failing at using I the I can't automatic work that threader. needle threader, I'll be honest, because it's not like my one at home. So, no, <laughs> so it always bamboozles me. Uh, there we go. I'll tell you what. Yeah, sorry. Let's, let's go and have me. a look at the What at I'm going to do is I'm going to top stitch and then I'm going to repeat the process with the other On the half. Inside. Of the other Come half. On. Let's go and have a look at all these bundles and then we know exactly I mean, what we're I getting. Mean. Are you in? Yep, but I'll I'll still continue on. I'll do this. Okay. Yeah. We've got lots to choose from actually, so it doesn't hurt having a look at these fabrics again. Now this bundle here um, is your seafoam door decor kit, and this is the one that we've been looking at this morning. This is the one that Victoria's made it from. Now what I want to show you in here, and actually it's lovely that we do get the chance to do this is your step-by-step -step instructions. These are so comprehensive. And pages and pages and pages of them. Troy, this must have taken you ages to write all these. Gosh, hang on, if only I could actually open them. Come on, pages, play ball. Now, in here, as Victoria told me, this, because we won't get onto this today, we, should, we, should, we could have done this as a two-hour show. Uh, this is your draft excluded diaphragm. Uh, Diaphrag, dia I know, I'm talking about breathing. Uh, <laughs> um, anatomy and physiology of your draft excluder. Uh, you're going to be able to put your pellets, should you wish to weight down your, um, your draft excluder, in there. Uh, then you've got your templates in here. So 
full templates. And there it is. So you've got all of your templates there to show you exactly what you need. And then there go. Oh, look, here we go. This is a great picture here. That shows your door. It's a very nice, uh, nice door, actually. We all admired your door. Uh, oh, look, you've got it so that you can hang it as well. Because yes, that's the other thing, you see. I'm going to take these with me because and the pellets, because they're selling cars. I made a draft excluder for our front door because it's you can actually see daylight through it. Yeah. It's a very old door. Um, but every time my husband goes out, he just leave, you know, never gets put back. So actually, if it could just hang on the door. Yeah, it just keeps it out the way. And it ties it in with the doorstop. Yes. So you've got a bit of design continuity, Fabulous. if you like. So these are the three different projects. This is a three-in-one kit here. And I've made the draft excluder weighted because I think it just gives it a nice feel and just gives that little bit extra security in terms of blocking out that draft. Um, I would never have thought of doing it, and I'm now I'm always going to yeah. do it like that. And I've done that. I've sectioned off the lining. Uh, the, the way that the pellets are kept inside the lining of the draft excluder, I've sectioned off into four parts so that when you do hang it up, or if you do hang it up, all the pellets just don't end up in one end. Oh, so you don't get a... Yeah, a big pooling a of them. A lopsided one. Yes. Fab. Um, obviously, this is, this is not two sides. Uh, no, that one's the doorstop, that one is. Oh, that is the doorstop. Yeah, the doorstop pattern pieces are all to size. Right. The draft excluder, I think, um, should just come with measurements. With measurements, okay. Yeah. And that gives, you, yeah. that gives you that there. And that's the guide with showing you where to, how to section cool. it off. Excellent. Okay, so how are we doing? Right, um, what I'll do is I'll show you. So you've got the zip in. You attach the two halves in the same way. That's the easiest way to get a zip in. Super easy, because the zip is longer than the fabric that you're dealing with, so you've got that room for manoeuvre. Um, and you trim that off at a later stage, not okay. at this point. From here, you then take your handle and place your handle in the midpoint, and there's a notch on your pattern piece. Place mm -hmm. that centrally over that notch in here, and then place this other half on top. Okay. Okay, and then... You can just sew that in place. Open it out, check it's right, and you've not put your handle in at a bit of a funny angle, and then you can sew over it again. Yeah, because the handle is going to take a bit of wear and tear, isn't it? Let's yes, be it will do. So you, you want that double layer of stitching. Okay. So I'll attach that in. If I have something like an overlocker, would now be a great time to use that um, as well? Yes, if you an <clears throat> anticipate that you're going to be washing this then this fabric does have a little bit of fray to it. Mm -hmm. So I would overlock the edges before you construct. Okay. So I just go round all the cut pattern pieces first. Okay. I would do that. I could imagine this being needing to be washed. And that's the reason you put the zip in. Otherwise you wouldn't put the zip in, would you? No. You wouldn't, you know, if you were just, no. you weren't gonna bother. Uh, so that's, you know, again, great way. I find these so satisfying. Yeah, they are really satisfying. Yeah. And for this, I've used um, one bag of pellets, but you might want an effect that's more structured and full. So you okay. could use more than one bag of pellets if you prefer. Oh, no, I quite like the slouchiness. I like the slouchiness. Mm. I like it a lot. And mine, because I make very similar ones, but uh, without the zip, and actually uh, only because I've been scared of zips, and I should have put that in. Yeah. Yeah. It helps. So then when I turn this through to the right side... You would check your handle and go, okay, yes, I, it is straight, because sometimes it has a tendency to go off Things at an can angle. Move, they can't move. They? they really can. So I would check that that's right. Run an extra layer of stitches, mm -hmm. and then the instructions tell you to base the ends of the handle together in a previous step. You right. would then go back and un undo those stitches, because I want to then turn everything out, open all the seam allowances out, so that from the top edge, I can top stitch. Okay. Along, so if you see on this one, that's the top edge of that one, and the top edge of that one. You can see on right. the finished one, I've just top stitched along. So that's actually. Um... So that's so it's making a design feature, but it's also securing the ends of the handle again in right. place. So it's got two lines of stitching to hold it in place, and then you're securing the seam allowances of the handle. Okay. In that top stitching yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. Makes sense. Right. So from this point, um, you then need to attach these side pieces. Okay. So I've got a sample here where I've already put one side piece in. And you can see here, I've left the zip long. 
Oh, even up until this point? Yeah, up until this point, because um, it's just easier to leave it that way. Now, I always start with the open end of the zip, the side with the open top of the zip first. Mm -hmm. So I'll attach that side first, and then I can go in and um, stick the other one in. But just make sure that when you're attaching the second side, that you leave your zip partially open. Yes. Otherwise, you'll otherwise have you a great battle to try and get it through to the other side. Okay. Which is not fun. Eight minutes left. Okay, you've got <clears throat> lots of notches and marking points on here. Now, what you do need to do, and could you just open up the pattern for me and we'll show sure you. Sure can. Sure can. Oh, I need the pattern pieces. Um, oh, yes, these ones here. So this one, it looks like you have to construct. You have to add the two pieces together. But you can see these little dots on the sides. And these dots here are part way up each of these longer gusset pieces. Mm -hmm. And you need to snip into the fabric up to, to that the depth. dot. Not quite right. all the way, but just a little way. And can you see on here, I've just yes. done that little snip in. So you'll need to do that before you move on okay. and transfer all, all your other markings. So when you attach your sides, again, if you're using a oh, directional print, just make sure that you're not putting the sides on upside down. And I'm gonna start off with matching those two sides. Right. I don't tend to pin when I'm doing this because it's too difficult to do it that way. It's easier just to start sewing. So you start from that midpoint. So start from that midpoint. You're using a one centimeter seam allowance. So I'm gonna just do a little bit and I'll just go back. And I'm gonna sew down and on the smaller pattern pieces for the sides, you've also got some dots and you'll have transferred those dots. You're sewing along. So for example, I'm starting at this side point here on the pattern mm -hmm. and I'm sewing down to this dot, but right. not past it. Okay. I'm going to stop with my needle this is your down. turning point, isn't it? That's the turning point. So I'm going to stitch down to that point and I'm going to stop at that dot. Stop at the dot. Stop at the dot. And this is where by snipping into the longer piece underneath, it just makes it easier for swiveling the fabric round because now what I'm going to do is the long gusset piece that goes around the outside, I'm keeping that straight and I'm swiveling round the side body piece round and underneath. And that snip that I've done just allows me to pull that around. Mm -hmm. So from here, I'm matching up the notch for the centre of the top and I'm going to match that with the sides, with the top seam. Okay. Put the presser foot back down. I'll just even that out. You've basically bit. turned a corner here. We have turned okay. a, a sharp 90 degree corner. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sew along, press the foots down. Down to that dot. Do you have to be careful to keep the handle out of the way so you don't accidentally sew over that? Yes, you will feel you will feel it in the way because it's a substantial enough handle that you won't accidentally sew on it. Because I think that happens a lot when you don't realise something's under there. Okay, so going up to the dot. So all of the marks in the pattern, Victoria has taken a lot of time and effort and care of making sure these dots and these marks are very clear for you, uh, that the instructions are very clear as well and full, which is fab. I hope so. I hope I didn't leave anything out. <laughs> it's funny, when you do something enough times to, t to tell someone else how to do it, you, you worry that you leave things out. So again, the same thing, I've kept this longer gusset piece as straight as possible and I've swiveled the top section around and I'm just going to match up. I've got two notches here and here mm -hmm. that I'm matching up. You really do want to get those notches matching, otherwise, again, you'll end up with a slightly skew if and a doorstop. Brilliant. Okay. How are we doing? Am I going to get round? Oh, I don't know. How many, minute, how many minutes have we got? Four minutes left. Oh, yeah, we'll get round. Yeah, she's confident. Not a problem. Not a problem. So there's that dot, Again, we're going to that dot, dot. Lift and then swivel. Gets tighter and tighter as you go, mm. that's okay. Again. And don't be afraid to manhandle the other fabric out no, of the way. No, just, pull, you it, know, just pull it out the way. Um, you don't necessarily need a, um, a thicker needle for your sewing machine, because okay. um, the fabric's not that thick, but I wouldn't go for a fine needle. Okay. So then my other notch on this last piece here is just gonna match up with the middle of the zip. Okay. Okay. And what I like to do is just go over that zipper tape twice. 
Okay, I'll, I'll now, do that on both ends. Yeah, let's talk about going over these. This is, obviously you've used a nylon zip. Yes. If you have a metal zip, yes. don't. Don't. <laughs> just don't. Yeah. Um, just don't use one, I think, really. Yeah, you've got, you have got to be very careful when you're using a metal zip. Very careful. And if you are using a metal zip, I'd remove the teeth, the excess teeth. At this point. At this point. But really, I don't think I would use a metal zip because it's going on your floor. Mm. And I don't think that's going to do an awful lot of good for your floor. Especially with your beautiful wooden polished floorboards. Mm -hmm. And then the last one, pull the underside out of the way. And that should take your background to where so you, you came from. So you would repeat this on the other side as well. That yeah. gives you your both side panels on. Yeah. So welcome to all the new callers coming in this morning. Um, welcome. Lots of new new people watching us that you found us. We've had a little change around on the Sky channels as well. Sky yes, have, you know, having only just made it onto Sky and uh, they've decided to change our number and uh, swap our digits around. So instead of 678, we're now 687, just to cause just maximum to confusion. Confuse everybody. Uh, not not our doing that's sky yeah they, they do that, they do that don't they every yeah, now they and do. then but we are still here on sky i don't know why i'm telling that because obviously if you're hearing me say it, you've already found us <laughs> it's true but you might be watching on the internet because you haven't found true, us again true, on true. sky so we are now six eight seven just so you know there you go okay right okay zips in so your zips in. in it's looking good at this point i would um make sure that you go twice over each of the ends yes. making sure that you don't go over your zipper puller Part, it, yeah. um, trim those off and then you can turn through to the right side. Yay, excellent. Dun, dun, dun. Fabulous. Now, when you construct your calico inner, should you wish to? Yes. You said you made it slightly smaller. No, I made the calico inner bigger. The calico inner bigger? Yes, bigger, bigger. Because okay. then you can see how it's actually... Oh, so, oh, it's like a flower sack. Yes, so that's a lot bigger and you've got all this space. So I then take that emptiness at the top. Oh, so you can do it like an egg timer so that you can oh, yes. put the pellets into yeah. the other, drip them through into the other end. Yeah, so I've put that, all the empty bit in there and then you can turn it upside down. And this then... is the mistake I made. I went smaller. Oh, no, I go bigger. That that, that's what I should have done. Yeah, a little bit bigger. And then those can go. just shuffle down. Now, all the fabrics that we're using today will be available on the website by the half meter as well. So if you need extra or if you want, you know, gone, actually, I want to do I want to do my door stopper and have my 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 chairs, chairs match, match, then we've done that for you. So they will be if you go to our um, our website, which is sewingquarter.com underneath where you can watch live. So click on watch underneath where you can watch live. They will all come up on there. Um, I think Paul, are they already there. They're getting put on there now. Getting put Excellent. on. Excellent. Victoria, so thank you. Stop. Not a problem. Thank you so much. That's been fabulous. Look at that. I really hope you feel better soon. Yeah, thank you. I'm all right. We get to see you before you go off to Australia. Oh, don't yes. We? Twice more, I think, before Australia. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you for having me. These are very satisfying. They are very satisfying. Thank you, Victoria. Da -da 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 -da. Now, if you'd like these pellets, and they are incredibly useful, she's used them in two out of the four projects there. Um, so if you want to have them so that you weight down your draft excluder, which I think is an excellent idea, and the pattern will explain how to do that, then $5.99. Lots of you multi-buying, these are recycled. If you would like these so that you can stuff your door stopper with them, again, uh, they're great for that. And if you, unlike sort of using rice, things like that, you can wash them if they get dirty or muddy or anything else that happens, $5.99. KDPI63 is your code for those. Lots of multi-buyers on those. Please pop them in your basket and check out. That's the key here is check out so that you don't miss out on those right now let's have a look this is the kit that uh, victoria made her her items from so we can see here that lovely pleather fresh and modern isn't it um half a meter of your friend this is your uh, this is your um upholstery weight half a meter half a meter a meter and a meter of your calico as well and the other projects which we'll see in just a second. So this will make the door stopper, your door muffler, and your draft excluder.
There we go. Now, the other option is this one here with your greys, your greys and your oranges. So you've got your grey one there, half a metre of your grey pleather, and then half a metre, half a metre of your linear, a metre there, and then two metres of your calico, and that's 32.99. There we go. For your door decor kit. Yes. Now, if you saw the chair cover earlier, it had buttons, um, and they were covered buttons, so you can match it to whichever of the fabrics that you wish. So if you would like, mm, I haven't got them here, um, if you would like the covered buttons and you get a set of five, they are $2.99. Fab, thank you very much. Um, there we are for you, $2.99. SDGQ76. And then if you want Velcro, this is sew on Velcro. So if you want to do this on the end of your door stopper, then we've got sew on Velcro for you there. And this is just £3.49 for a meter of that. Fab. Now, if you would like your chair furnishing fabric, then we've got here, this is your binding. Remember, there were all those raw edges with your calico and your upholstery fabric, and they were just bound really simple when you know how. Two meters and two meters of your calico, um, all in five meters there, plus your instructions and details on how to make your own pattern for your own chair. That's the key here. Then we've got the gray and green version with the lovely teal. So a, a meter of your teal, two meters. This is the most popular one. Not surprised, it's lovely. Lots of you with this in baskets. And it's a very, uh, I mean, gosh, you can barely buy a chair for $41.99. So to be able to re-upholster and make them look fabulous for $41.99, I think it's fab. Uh, for five whopping great big meters of fabric in there as well, which is just lovely. So please make sure that you check out everything and make sure that you're not missing out on anything. Now, coming up tomorrow, should we take a little look? Jess is here and she's bringing a play tent, as you do. Or as someone said to me, oh, a maternity dress for you, Natasha. How very rude. I've got their card. Uh, it's a play tent and mat at 8 a.m. 9 a.m. Peachy Keen mini quilt with Lucy Brennan. Oh, sounds fabulous. And then 10 a.m. Jess is back with a backpack. She's got all the things for a holiday, isn't she, going on here? And then at 11 a.m., a roundabout masterclass with Lucy Brennan. So it's a two guest day tomorrow, which is very lovely. Um, but uh, my one guest today has been superb. Thank you ever so much, Victoria. Pete, thank you for coming and feeling poorly as well. Hopefully I'll have some well guests tomorrow. So you never know. But thank you ever so much for joining me. Victoria, go home, get better. Watch those replays so that you can re-upholster your chairs and decorate your doors. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Join us on Thursday the 3rd of May when Jess Entwistle is here with an hour of playroom delights for the little ones. Jess will be sharing her tips for making a hanging play tent with ideas guaranteed to capture those little imaginations. We also have a coordinating drawstring play mat which makes playtime fun and tidying away toys a breeze. Jess will also be showing us how the mat is made so all you have to do is decide which of our handy kits to choose. So start your day with an hour of fun and games Thursday, the 3rd of May, 8 a.m., only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. <laughs>